the. Wait a second. That's if you cool. did crimes with me, <coughs> what do you mean you wouldn't trust me, I bro? Trust Who, you. Who's been more loyal, friend wise, than me? But still, you be you be fumbling unintentionally. Well, that's not that's what we're what asking about. Of. Hold on, wait a second. That's why I that's wouldn't do a crime reason. with you, though. Oh. Chaz, I was the, the cops. All I thought this the was off of the the Vlad me. TV thing. I was like, oh, I feel you there. Yeah, Chaz, that's who nothing. For Chaz to give him all the questions to ask. You? He'll give him all the questions <laughs> to ask you to get you incarcerated. Mm. Yeah, man. I'm just I'm just asking questions. I can't control your <laughs> answers. People nah. have wild answers. That's my fault. Anyway, but, we we back with another episode of Daddy Issues. Da, 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 da. Gunshot. Yeah. <laughs> Intro. <laughs> <laughs> Intro. We got Chris Sneed in the building. Big money Sneed. Dr. Yes, Sneed. Sir. Filling in for DC Irvin, who's on the yes, road sir. as usual. Deserving. New watch alert. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> stunt. Yeah, you see the new watch money. alert. Yeah. Let's turn these lights down. Yeah, yeah. Turn trying it down. to yeah, too yeah, much. Y'all got LED in here? Yeah, but we back. <laughs> Lottery money, man. Yes, sir. Chris gonna have that hand up the whole time. He keep looking at this. Make sure my my is my, my watch. This is in a way. It's in the, this to the. He's like, get the mic. Out of yeah, there we go. Right between the mic and yeah. this. That's perfect. That's it, right there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You see the bezel? <laughs> you might have to move that to the other side. It's taking away from them seeing me. They all focused oh, they, they, on they, your they watch. Not gonna pay attention to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. I'll be respectful for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need one good looking watch just in case I got to dress up. Because yeah. I can't do the Apple Watch. What you, oh, no, with they, a suit. They got some fancy Apple do, Watches. Do they? Yeah, you change bands. They got they got ones a thousand. Can you change the face? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not the band I got issue with. It's just the basic ass. Yeah. 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 Workout. They got, like, the face? they got like $10,000 Apple Watches. I do? There. Yeah, man. Yeah, they can look Oh, they look that's the stupid. same. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's stupid. Yeah, now look the same. <laughs> They're made out of different stuff, so that's that. Like the actual band part is encoded differently. The mm. regular ones are a the Hermes, and then they band. go to stainless steel, and then I think there's like gold or something. The Hermes ones are gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah gold. If you go to something big time, like an award show, or whatever, you need a watch. You gotta, you gotta wear a suit and shit, hard yeah. bottom. Yeah, you gotta tell me what time hey, it man. is. Do you like mine? They were, they were soft. Yeah. Yeah, but soft hard bottom. I had we were we were at uh, Angel Thing so, and we were talking about we were talking about dress shoes. Flaccid hard bottom. And I was like, I feel you. I was like, but I bought some ones that are really soft, like inside. Mm -hmm. We were the same size. I was like, try these on. He was like, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, these are these are comfortable. It was comfortable. I just hate the way hard bottoms look. Pointy, the pointy ones or the round ones with the little holes in the I don't front. Like the square ones. I don't like. I hate like. those ones. I hate all <laughs> the ones with holes. Was they wingtip? Oh or my they god! Oh, no. I, I saw hate Tony those. with a peak coat for the oh. first time. What? Yeah, the Classy. Oh, the long one. Classy. Yeah. I like those. Yeah, those are clean. Yeah. Yeah. I love. I got like two of those. Tony, you can turtleneck. dress them up or you can dress them down. Yeah, I like those. I feel like they look good with Jordan ones. Peak coats with the regular clothes sometimes dress down looks a little a little homeless. <laughs> you know I mean, like like a, a splash. You need a, a t shirt on up under a splash. Nah, when I see it match with the hoodie, I'll be like, mm. I don't know. Oh, with the hoodie. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you have yeah, a place yeah, a to sleep? Tonight? Oh, you had a sportswear. <laughs> huh? You had a sportswear. Uh, was it trench? You got the well, yeah. Mm. There was a long uh, black one I wore with a bakery shirt and a beanie. Okay. Glasses. Is that what was glasses? Glasses make it classy. Once, once you put the beanie on, <laughs> you, you go like, oh, yeah. it can go either way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Either way right now. I like the potential homeless look. You can't have a single stain on it. He, he, oh, no, <laughs> one stain. Like, that, no, uh, hey, Tony, yeah. you doing all right, buddy? <laughs> I know you were in tour, but that fast? That fast? <laughs> Shut up and give me meth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if I do wear a suit, I would rather wear a three-piece. Three okay. piece, yeah, the vest. Go oh, which vest? The V neck vest or the round vest? Oh, mm -hmm. you go in Europe with it? Or you Probably staying? V. Yeah, v. Yeah. with nothing underneath. You know I what I'm like saying? Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, oh, what? chest out. Oh, uh, yeah. hell no. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. The leather vest underneath <laughs> all chest. Because I do like the way the three piece looks. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are clean. Over just a regular blazer just and a uh, shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Three, the, the vest is. Blazer button up, blazer t-shirt. 
The blazer button. The blazer button. Up, button. Blazer button. If you're going to have a blazer on. <laughs> yeah. Just commit. What you doing? Just you got a just V-neck commit. t-shirt and a blazer <laughs> on. I hate the I hate the mix of the two. Yeah. Crew neck. I can't stand V-necks. No Either you going to dress up or you just going to be casual. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you can be dressy casual. I'm business sick, casual. I'm sick of the blazers with the jeans and then the hard oh, bottom. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wear hard bottom jeans. It's too much jeans. You no, mixing no. and matching. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a you very weird That's, that's 2000 ball. club attire. Yeah. Yeah. When they didn't know how to say no niggas, so they were just like, no, no hats. Just throw a blazer. All right. I hated that. Like, man, what we doing? Yeah, but with the three piece, I need the round. The round? Feel, yeah, it makes it feel European. Mm. Very I, I've seen and the rounds. I think they look good on <laughs> slender, like super slender frames. Like when I see mm-hmm. the round one, I'm like, oh, that, that guy's pulling that off. But I'm right. like, I don't I don't like it, but I it looks good on it's all you. in your body. Frame. So fat niggas can't wear it round is. necks? I don't think so. <laughs> Go with it. I don't with know, a nice turtleneck underneath. Hmm. You're gonna be sweating. To cover up some of the neck. You're uh, only gonna be sweating in there. Yes. No, to give him a neck. <laughs> yeah, give you need a turtle neck. Turtle neck, neck. Give you a neck. Give you a neck. I'm trying to neck. get into him. I want to try. I like turtlenecks. You like turtlenecks? Mm-hmm. I'm a fan. I used to like turtlenecks a lot. I yeah. hate them younger. I like them now. I, used I never to like them when I was younger. But it has yeah. to be folded. I wore turtlenecks to school. Playing handball with a turtleneck. Man, I was turtleneck McGee. I ain't warm in like decades, but I used to be turtleneck. I like them now. Jenkins. It's nice as a kid to have a turtleneck. I hate it. I hate it. I still hate it. It was, it was itchy. itchy. I don't know. Oh, but to me, I just pulling like, it down. Yeah, yeah, I just didn't like it. But as an up. adult, I'm a big Were you fan. fully extended or like bunched up or rolled? You know, I would try. To, I would do anything. I was trying to. I was trying to do anything. I can to get it off. <laughs> I didn't like it. I'm trying to think of how I wore mine. I like a nice fold to it. Nice fold. I think I folded mine. I think you wear your just... chain outside the tube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember with button ups. They was putting they chain underneath. Underneath the, the yeah. A little collar. Just oh, yeah, underneath the collar. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. when the turtleneck's being Stupid hot. Stupid. Just being like, this is no ventilation anywhere. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I used to be hot in the turtleneck. Yeah, but that's uh, what it's made for. Uh, yeah. Your neck. Yeah. That's the, it's a neck. That's the idea. That was, that no, was perfect. You. Yeah. So you don't need a you do turtleneck and a scarf or just one oh. or the other? That's, I think scarves just hit regardless. Yeah, yeah. It just makes you Classic. look more. Yeah, it just more makes you look like you got... Got Successful. something going on. Yeah, <laughs> it was essential in Chicago. Oh, well, yeah. We just had our asses. Yeah. You only put the you football pants outside. That. We used to be rat. I was going to say, you cover your face. Yeah. Snow boots, too? Yes. I don't know how y'all. I was in Canada for four days, and I don't know how y'all live in the snow, man. It's just, you got to put on all this stuff. Try it's 20 rough. years. Off. It's rough. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. It ain't for the week. No, no. Cause that to, shit is. It's a lot. You got a lot. To, you got to yeah. get up earlier. You got to heat the car mm-hmm. up. You got to scrape it. Got to shovel the driveway. And throwing all this gear underneath your regular clothes. For sure. You got that long johns on. Damn. The Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> man, if it's windy, cold. They're Vaseline. Man. We used to walk to school backwards. You'd have to walk backwards. Man. So oh, man. that's the yeah. yeah. You grew up in the snow too? Yeah. No, but I went to college in Montana. Man. And closed in school. And Chicago they... was like, nah, never. Come on. School did not close Hell in Chicago. No. Damn. Michigan, Michigan was the same. We that never backwards closed. walk was essential. Glad you said it. I, I remember that. They were like, come on. <laughs> New York schools had closets. LA schools, I don't remember having closets. Closet, so you can hang your jackets and stuff. No, we, oh. we, we, we got, yeah, yeah. We cubbies got some when you was cubbies, younger, yeah, cubbies. little box. <laughs> yeah, when you were young, you had the cubby. <laughs> Craig yeah. had yeah, cool closets. Yeah, closets. <laughs> I imagine New York schools being mad old. <laughs> <laughs> This bitch is just 18 seconds. For sure. Y'all had, y'all had hangers too? Or you had to bring your own hangers? No, no they, they had the little, the little, little hooks. hooks. Okay. Everybody yeah. shit fall on the floor. Private school. Right. <laughs> did y'all have, in New York, did y'all have, do your schools look like like buildings or did y'all ever have like any outside looking schools? It's a building with a little lot on the side. Yeah. Usually it ain't All shit in a lot, yeah. but a okay. basketball. Chicago was building city. Yeah. Building city in Chicago. It was, a few, it was a few high schools where it was like that, that, West Coast look yeah. where it's just like all ours are outside. But it was building central yeah. floors. Ours outside. Yeah. Like Third when I was floor. like in, I only saw building schools in like the movies. Yeah. And I'd be like, man, they just go to they going up and downstairs. Yep. And... Mm. No, we the were high, just outside. The higher your grade, the higher your grade, and the, the further you were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you on the third floor? They grown up there. <laughs> I was we coaching were, the middle school and they were they were like they ate outside and that blew my mind. Mm-hmm. 
they ate like table. I was like, what are these tables yeah. outside? Yeah, yeah, outside. Yeah. That seems strange. Yeah. Yeah. Blows that's my mind. Cali, yeah. That's, oh, so, that's well, so strange. Yeah. We can't eat that outside. Y'all lockers was outside too? Y'all yeah. lockers outside uh-huh. too? Man, I can't imagine that. Like what? lockers outside and stuff? Where I went to school in Atlanta. Oh, you're in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, so it looked like the regular like high school. Like when you think of TV high school, like all yeah. the classes inside, lockers inside, uh-huh. big lockers cafeteria. Everything was inside. That's nuts. Several, Damn. like it's just several different layers of different. See, that's forms. what I yeah, like. I, like I wanted to experience that, but I was like, nah. in New York yeah. during the winter, the cafeteria would turn into the playground. Mm-hmm. They had a little gym thing. They came down. <laughs> the tables moved oh, to the side. We was just on the playground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was cold. The playground was going yeah. outside. It, it was oh, a certain like time. The cafeteria was in the gym essentially. No, the cafeteria is like on the first floor, and then. Uh, it's just really big, and then there's two basketball hoops that like came down. Was there a stage in there too? No, nah, we had an auditorium. Oh, okay. Or else yeah. they make us go to the auditorium and watch Heckle and Jekyll. <laughs> Heckle and Jekyll. <laughs> I remember them. I remember them. That was crazy. We was outside. They're banned now. <laughs> yeah. oh, those guys, right? Yeah. What I do is what do you, you say? What I do? <laughs> you thinking about the crows from Dumbo? The crows. Oh, that wasn't that their names? Nah. Their names were Huckle and Juggle. Nah, that's nah. the Magpies. Ah. Like, what's Huckle and Juggle? Who's Huckle and Juggle? Huckle and Juggle. Regular cartoon. Oh, okay. For your time, mm-hmm. Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. That's what I mean. That's Back the first part. Deputy, yeah. deputy Dog. Heckle mm-hmm. and Jekyll. I ain't seen them in mad long. They got banned. They were the crows. Magpies. They wasn't in Dumbo though. No, but I remember this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it existed, for sure. Ah, uh, okay. They, get, they got their own spin off. They cut the <laughs> projector on. <laughs> we had the projector, and it came on the big screen. Heckle and Jekyll. Just turn Heckle and Jekyll on. Right. <laughs> Just put that on. You know that main crow in Dumbo was by a white dude? He was funny. <laughs> he was killing. <laughs> the other two crows are black. Mm. They mm. was really black actors. Mm. Oh wow! But the main, the main coon crow was, <laughs> was white. White. God damn. <laughs> Dumbo was a tough watch. <laughs> this shit is sad. Dumbo. They got Dumbo at Disneyland. Of course, you'll never see right. it again. <laughs> <laughs> of course, controversy over here. Sky controversy. <laughs> Is Natasha uh, in there? I went to Disneyland and uh, <laughs> when's the last time I went? I went in uh, last year. No, yeah. You went to Disney last year? Yeah, 2021, yeah. Oh, go, ahead, okay. go ahead and talk three, to the camera. Three Get years it out, ago. Chris Snead. Get it out. You looking at me, Natasha in there? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, 2021? Mm-hmm. That's a few years ago. Oh, oh, oh my three. bad. What, what three. year is it? It's 2022. Oh, 2022. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I was like, and everybody just rolled with it like, yeah, last year. I'm like, wait a minute. 2022. 22, two years ago, Tony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you went to both parks? Uh, yeah, it's 2024. Where's Star Wars at? That's Disneyland. That's Disneyland. Disneyland. That's the main. Damn, I went, I went in 2023. Whatever yeah. last year last was. Year. Yeah. That's where I went. God I'm damn. Like, what? I went last year. Okay. It was 78. Man. Last year. Whatever last year was, I was there. You were there last year. Where's the Star Wars area? That's Disneyland. That's not a California Adventure? No. No, no. Uh-uh. California Adventure is like where the Incredibles ride is and mm-hmm. the cars. Oh, did, we did both then. Yeah, and we both went to parks, both, both sides. Yeah. I love Disneyland. I got on that Incredibles ride. It was fun. I yeah. still haven't been. It's only yeah. been a day. Mm-hmm. Star Wars is dope. Yeah. Shout out to Disneyland and everybody who works at Disneyland, man. <laughs> Disneyland, man. Y'all some amazing people. And and my daughter had a good time up in there, yeah. man. She's seven. She'd love to go back again. So shout out to everybody up at Disney. <laughs> everybody. Anyway, <laughs> last time I went, <laughs> I, it was Captain EO was there. Is that the Michael Jackson? Damn, Michael, yeah. Captain, it, that's, man, I've been to downtown that? Disney. Captain who? Captain, Captain EO. That's in what? the early You've never been, so it don't matter. Okay. It was right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it came back. It was it then did? it came back. I don't remember which year, but it came back. They still got E.T.? I don't know. He, he not Disney, though. Uh, E.T. was, oh, where E.T. at? Universal. Universal. Oh, I've been sure there. Is. I've been. I just went there. I've been there a couple times because we got college the university. Oh, my was kids time. loved it. Yeah, it was like a good time. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's his that older mummy ride too. was mine. Yeah, shit. that's the yeah. one. The mummy ride. The mummy ride. My kids was yeah. all in. We go during mm. Halloween. 
Universal well, kind of expensive too, huh? No. No. Not that's... when you got the year pass. No. Not at all. And it's up the street. Yeah. Like... And that's the thing. So my it's like it was for my son's birthday. And he was like, I want to go to Disneyland or Legoland. And we was like, what do you think about Universal? Yeah, the Legoland too. And he was like, yeah. You know, now, you know that's 30, yeah, that's 20 minutes. You know what I mean? I'm like, and we went there. And then, you know, Universal too, they let you bring in food. They let you do all the things. Like, And Universal got the deal. You yeah. buy your ticket, then they're like, for $10 more, you get the year pass. Yeah. So we just got mm, the year pass. No brainer. Yes. So they've been they've been a couple times already and they loved it. And so, you know, they got the Mario Brothers world there and all that. Oh, that's yeah. a Megatron is. Yeah. You mean yeah. they're talking shit. Yeah. Man. I love it. <laughs> so Megatron. they had so then after they went, they was like, I don't really care about Disneyland. I'm hoping I can stall until they grow out of cause they almost there. They're almost done anyway. Done where they out the of the well no, where they done with Kitty. Oh, you know, yeah. Disneyland right. more. And they they don't they never was on like Mickey Mouse and stuff heavy. They always like the other stuff. Mm -hmm. So Universal was more they speed because it had Transformers. It had right. you know Harry Potter. Had the stuff they like more you're to, than you're trying to get them to Magic Mountain. Yeah. yeah so I'm just yeah. like I'm like if y'all don't like Disney, that's great because we don't have to go. Yeah, Marvel's there. Marvel's they at don't Disney. need to know that. Oh, yeah. Marvel. <laughs> they, they don't need to know. That. They went I'm to Comic Con. I'm gonna tell them. You know Marvel's at yeah. Disney, yeah. boys. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your father. I'm gonna say Keon. Y'all love Marvel, huh? You know they're Disney. You know, I'll be, be like, but Uncle Keon, he, he, took you, he took you to, to Comic Con, right? So y'all like that? Comic Con. They had a blast at Comic Con. My brother took him. I was like, yeah. Comic Con's a good time. They love Somebody it. Said Disney Universal World is also better. Is good during the summer because they got the sprinklers mm -hmm. and the little ballpark. Yeah, Marvel. The only thing that they didn't like about Comic Con, you know, some of these comic books is wild. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So yeah. I guess my brother told me they was uh, walking through one of the sections and that women they had up there on the, you know, it's drawn, it's wild. And my little one was like, whoa, <laughs> it's getting way too sexy. In here. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he said, they, he was like, all right, let's go. And my little one was like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> Something's happening. And I don't it's understand. Way too sexy in here. <laughs> no, it is skimpy city at Comic Con, yeah. bro. Now, what if he liked it? No, they like they yeah, yeah. they already no the sexiness. Yeah. No, no, he just they are in a phase where like you know all they do is talk about girls and girlfriends and stuff. But like mm. there's there's levels, mm, so mm. they're like this is inappropriate. Okay. So even if they see me and, and Cotty doing something, they're like guys, this is inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to see that. This is inappropriate. Yeah. Yeah. inappropriate. But Comic they, Con, you know, but they mm, all in. They, on, they all in. Yeah. Here. They I'm, saw Jessica Rabbit for the first time and lost their damn mind. <sighs> me too. Every time I'll I see, I lose my damn mind. And, and the yes. little uh, uh, ca cartoon characters in the swimsuits mm -hmm. with the little alien things with the, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. they thong city mm -hmm. up in Comic Con. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like my son only play, my little one only play 2K for the cheerleaders. <laughs> so, like, my, my <laughs> oldest play the game, he'd be like, when the cheerleaders coming on? <laughs> <laughs> like, he just. But if it's too much, like if they, you know, if they in the bikini type, it's, it's too sexy. <laughs> <laughs> he just has his line. Like, right, it's too sexy. It's, it's, it's too much. Do it. I was trying to think of how old I was when Roger Rabbit came out. Ooh, Roger oh. Rabbit. Was that 90? I was 11. It was 88. Was 80? oh. I was 11 watching that in the theater. I was just loving it. Mm, I was yeah. seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah. yeah. You liked it. You know, oh, when her, her booze bounced. Oh, I was all in on Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> I was like, man. I can watch this again. the sequel to that. Yeah. <laughs> they only did it one. It was a one and done. I know. That's because they tried with Cool World and everybody wasn't feeling her as much as Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> the Cool World bomb. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't give a damn about Cool World. They tried to classy rabbit. it up. It's like, nah. Well, do do they need a sequel to Roger look. Rabbit? I mean, yeah. Why? Jessica. Why can't? But what everybody, you, mean, why? you can, you can, no, <laughs> you can go they, back and watch it. If they redid it now, they would make her flat chested and, oh, and oh, non binary, and you know, they would, mm. they would change. Because you see what they did to Lola Bunny? I know. Yeah. You see what they did to Rogue for the new right. X Men yeah. coming Rogue out? Rogue ain't got oh, no cheeks. ass no more. Nah. She ain't got big titties no more. I don't know no if she always had cheeks. But she got baggy sweats on. on. Mm -hmm. They just called an angle where <laughs> yeah. they, they used the same angle. It was like, yeah. man, yeah. she wasn't out there caked up on the regular, though. I don't know. No, no, no. I remember so being like, "Cakes out there now. They can replay. They can revamp it." Well, everybody's Jessica get... Rabbit on Instagram. Yeah, right. oh, yeah which is sure. annoying. That's why Jessica need to come back. Mm. I'm I'm Jessica just Rabbit right now. Drawn this way. She's, she's the, the same, same age. age. That's the beauty. Yeah. Of it. Oh, she's the same <laughs> age. <laughs> That's the beauty. I don't of think it. they need to revamp the cartoon stuff though. Like, or none of the kids. Because my kids, you know, with with all the streaming we have now, mm -hmm. they go back and watch all those stuff, and they they like it just like. We did, you know what I'm saying? It's, Original. It's, yeah, there's no reason mm, to. Yeah. yeah. Like we're on season two of Family Matters now. My son be in tears. 
like cracking up. I'm like, there's no reason to reboot That's these shows. Great, these right. kids can just watch the old ones, right? And it's fine. Like it's it's timeless. You got to have a great idea. These a lot of these re, uh, reboots just don't have great ideas. They're yeah. just they're just like uh, we're just we still have an audience. There's still an audience for this. Let's. It's like it's not. It's not. Chip and Dale was the only one I saw that had they like that. They had a different storyline yeah. mm. going into their uh, their movie. I mean, it wasn't a reboot; it was their movie, but it was technically like let's get the band back together. Yeah, and uh, that's that was, fine. Getting getting the band back together is fine. Yeah, force reboot. Yeah, yeah, I hated man. to reboot a Full House, and I was a Full House fan. I didn't see. I didn't, I didn't watch, watch it. it. Yeah, Fuller yeah. House. It wasn't good. Yeah. Fuller House. I didn't watch it. No, was Joey on it? Did you cut it? It was. It was. It was <laughs> Joey was there. Joey was on there. Oh, Fuller, was. Fuller House. Okay, but know. it ain't nothing like the the twins as as babies. Michelle, they're they? grown up and skinny yeah, as hell. I don't <laughs> like that. The sister killing. They wasn't on there, were they? No, they weren't on there. No, dude. Who knew she had a better career? I didn't know it first. My bad. What's the, what's the sister's name? She's she's Stephanie. She's on fire. No, I know the Olsen, the youngest one, the one who's in the Kate? Marvel. The one who's, oh, uh, Elizabeth. She's, she's younger one. than the she's young. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. She is having a wonderful career. Oh yeah, Absolutely. she's killing. <laughs> well, they but the but the twins had a great oh, crazy they had a great Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. They made so much money. They like we we cool on acting. Yeah, yeah. but then they didn't they. Kind of get on some stuff. I think the one was still acting for a while. I don't know. Everybody thought the other one was done. Look like that, or I don't know. They, they, they've always looked like. I think it was just personal like they, choice. Something the was wrong. Because yeah. but only yeah. one of them looks like that. Yeah, like the other one looks healthy and fine. Damn. One of them is like they masking. Yeah, it was just like man, you good? Yeah, that type of skin. yeah. I was mad at Lark Voorhees from Saved by the Bell how she turned out. Yeah, was it surgery? I don't know. I think I was thought she got bleach her skin. I don't know something. what that was. <laughs> it was it, she was so fine. She was. She was. So that was the reason fine. why I say by the bell, man. Because I was just it. channel surfing. I seen her and I was like, "What we got here?" Man, she <laughs> was so fine. I asked her to prom. You know, huh? you asked her to prom. Oh, oh, yeah. prom. Yeah, she went. She is dating Martin at the you time. You got to shoot your shot. <laughs> Quick little. <bam. laughs> you got to shoot your shot. She was I, so yeah, fine. you got. You know, you gotta go I for know the about shooting your shot. She is coming out of an audition. Damn. And I was like, "Hey, you got to go for it." You want to get a prom with me, Mike? What'd she say? I'm taking. I was like, oh, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that back? <laughs> no, nah, I just felt it in my heart. <laughs> okay. How do you react to the I'm taking? What'd you say? <sighs> then I just went and asked somebody else that was in uh in the, the audition. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, see, that's why women don't respect me. Yeah, yeah. Because we take what's shots it? and keep what's going. What's he supposed to do? Because we just be like, no, all right. You. What's, it, what's, it, what's, what's he supposed to do? What's he supposed to do? He's supposed to go home and fuck up my arm, grab down the wall and cry. Then they look at you like, see, that's why I said. They look at you like you're thirsty. What is he supposed to do? What's the alternative? I get why he did it. Go alone. Women are not going to feel special when they see that. You're not special. Well, I ain't special either. You're Turn me down. So if it, get out of you're here. Not like you're done. You can't wait you're till done. she's out of the picture. She was. She was coming out the audition. And bow. Okay. Yeah. You, you should have mushed her and then found her new girl. <laughs> That's why women be like, you say that to all the girls. I yeah. do. I do. Yep. I do. Now watch out. And you turn down all the guys. Lying. And what? Like, why are we lying? <laughs> why are we bullshit? I'm shooting my shot. You're constantly curving. Is this going to line up or not? So next. It's like, what am I doing? Women want to feel like special. Why? Mm -hmm. Just to just to kick you, us down? Like you can what? feel special when you say yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, that's what they want. You, when you feel say special, yeah, but say I don't. No, but make me feel special. Right. <laughs> wow. I make you feel special after you told me no. After you mm -hmm. didn't shit on me, no. <laughs> like I'm taking is not Wait. getting shit on. I go it's oh, not, okay, it's not, okay. It's not. Like, that's man. not that's not a bad one. You know, because when they shoot, it's special. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For one, well, of them, a lot of them, yes. But they ain't gonna shoot, then stop shooting. They ain't gonna they be like, gonna, no. they, gonna, they gonna build up the nut <laughs> to holler at a man. Mm -hmm. That's been brewing for a while. They mm -hmm. not just hey, 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 like we are. They be no, like, they're not I really bad, like but him. Yeah. Women Here we do. go. And then they shoot, and then you be like, nah. They be like, ooh. Yeah. They taking that, they taking that L to heart. When a woman holler at me and I'm not interested, I would just say I, I have somebody. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna lie. I'm too nice then. I don't be like, ugh. Well Go to the ad. Keep I don't, what's the ad? Uh, uh, <laughs> Run the commercial. Yeah. Get him out of here. This is brought to you by Blue Chew. <laughs> 
Blue Chew is a unique <laughs> online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis and LaRicha, but at a fraction of the cost. Uh, you can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead for when the opportunity arises. arises. <laughs> the process is simple. You sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical professionals, and once you're pr- approved, you receive your prescription in days. Best part, it's all done online. No visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, no waiting in the lobby with other people struggling <laughs> <laughs> or wanting to feel better, you know. Uh, and Blue Chew tablets are made in the U.S., prepared, shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Nobody knows, just a little brown, little, mm-hmm. nobody knows what it is, you know. And uh, I've done it, tried mm-hmm. it. Got banned, mm-hmm. but you know, it's a good time for me. <laughs> I loved it. I was like, yeah. Felt I'm, good. I'm 19 huh? again. All yeah. right. Yeah. She was like, nigga, go to bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was pumping in your sleep. <laughs> uh, and Bluetooth wants to help you have better sex. So discover your options at Bluetooth.com. Chew it and do it. Mm. <laughs> Chew it and do it. Try Chew Blue it Chew it. for free <laughs> when you use our promo code issues. <laughs> and check out, you just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code issues. issues. And receive your first month free. Free. Oh yeah. Chew it and nice. do it. Chew, Chew it and do it. it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get them foreign boners. Yeah. Good old US. <laughs> <laughs> Good old hard American. <laughs> <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Detroit, that foreign <laughs> tough dick. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeah. Now I'm catching up on the comments. Yes, I am an asshole, guy. We know this. I'm not. I'm not. My delivery is an asshole. Not my feelings. My feelings are honest. Yeah. yeah. My delivery sometimes sucks. Yeah. Like you know. my feelings are just genuine. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it could be a which little, is important. Yeah. It could just be yeah. a little softer sometimes. Yeah. I'm my my usually I'm usually when it comes to women holler at me. It depends on how they do it. Whether mm-hmm. how I respond. If they come, I don't like when they come with the like you're assuming everybody wants you. Mm. Like I don't like that. I don't mm. like the arrogance of like, yeah, nigga, me. And I'm like, right. I could have a thousand. Years. Like I don't, I don't, don't, don't talk to me like I can't. You know what I mean? Like right. I don't like that shit. And so when like, they come, you're lucky that I'm. Yeah, when they come with that, I'm like, fuck out of here. Right. Like, I right. also wasn't at a mall. I was at a casting. There's a lot of women there that I was like, oh wow. You couldn't do that. Looked just like her. That looked just like her. It was a buffet. Me alone. And you know how you know how how auditions work. They all look the same. They all look look like her. Did you find the prom date there? Uh, I didn't go. Did you go find a date? I went to other people's. Okay. Mm. I went to other people's prom. I didn't go to mine. I wanted to show up to mine. Like, yeah. (laughs) Did you catch a fish at the audition though? Uh, no, actually, nah. Everybody was taken out. <laughs> no, no, everybody wasn't taken. It was just like, oh, I'm trying to read my lines. So. <laughs> I'm at work, sir. Lights on the line. I'm at work. If I don't get this commercial, I'm homeless, bro. <laughs> he comes to an audition looking for a problem. <laughs> he was looking for a problem. <laughs> they <laughs> was mad funny. They were auditioning for the show. He was right. like, <laughs> they had their sweat. They were auditioning for your show? No, it was just, well, we were right here and there was another show. Oh, okay, in the door. same spot, I got you. They in there like, this is something like right, right, right. I need <laughs> this. Here you go. You want to go to prom? Right. What the fuck? Is <laughs> like, can, I, can I read lines with you? I'm trying to be a star. <laughs> can I read lines with you? I just moved the audition, baby. <laughs> man, what What's up, baby? <laughs> to, to be hard. Hey, your dreams. That's cool, <laughs> but fuck your dreams right now. My prom coming they up. They in there sweating. That's funny as hell. character. <laughs> so y'all don't think women just be hollering at anybody? Some do, yeah. At anybody? Like, like, like. I I agree with what he's saying, but also at the same time, it's like you got certain ones. Like, he got money, and that's all that matters. Oh, uh, anybody, yeah, everybody with money, that, or yeah. everybody who's an athlete, or everybody, you know what I mean? Right, like that yeah. shit happens. Right. They, right. That, that, that happens. I don't. I'm not, that's not gonna sit up here man, and be like though. all of their shots are sincere. Right. Even mm-hmm. when it comes to us, mm-hmm. I don't feel like every shot is sincere. Not I feel like I just saw you on stage and I want to experience, or I just, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I don't feel like it's sincere, or you had to muster up the courage. Because especially when it comes to drunk women, mm-hmm. they be wilding. Yeah, they do. They be but they I, drunk a lot. I just don't so like that's their truth, though. They, that's they, so that, that don't but mean it's, it's out of character. Yeah. 
Is it? Some yeah. of them wait, yeah. some of them wait you for you to come to town for months. A bit. And then they're like, oh, this is going to be my night. Let me have a drink or two to get some coverage. <laughs> oh, like, oh, you fine. Uh, <laughs> you more bold when you're drunk. Thank I just you. hate when uh, for a woman that holler at me, other women be like, oh, she thirsty. And don't. I don't, don't include thirsty when it comes to me. When it's <laughs> that's you know what I'm saying? Like, that's disrespectful. Is it? No, I just think you sh- I am somebody you should holler at. Because a lot of women feel like they shouldn't shoot. Right. So as soon as they shoot, are oh, you thirsty, girl? Why you why you tell him that? Let it's him me. come to you. A lot of women have that mindset. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, that's it's how I feel. Me. I feel like I'm mindset. the prize. That's yeah. how you get love. That's behind. fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We should feel it because we are prize. We are prize. It's men. Yes. But a lot of women, they just don't holler. It's crazy. Because, I, I, you know, I've been experiencing now, now that I'm back in the single streets, you know, they be like, I'm not used to hollering at, at men. They always right. they, they always come for me. And I'm right. like, that's fair. I mean, you know, especially the way they look. Right. But I get it. Mm-hmm. You know, as soon as you step outside, they like, hey. Right. You over here looking at the avocado. <laughs> you want to go to the take it to the <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they get hollered at. So it's right. like, they're not used to the other side to where, you know, do you feel, feel like, like a woman is thirsty me. if she holler at you? No, I never feel like you that. Can't. I never feel like it's thirst. No, just right. because they they showing I just you know feel like interest. They, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, it. nothing yeah. crazy. Yeah. So I never automatically you thirsty. Get out of my face. Right like, now, I'd be like, I'd be honored. I'd be like, oh, you feeling mm-hmm. you feeling mm-hmm. this? Oh, me. It's a good pick for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, but if women feel like they chasing, then they be like. Yeah. I ain't used to this. Right. Right. If they hit me with an excuse like, nah, nah, he just drove us here. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep with your ride. <laughs> yeah, the, the subliminal, y'all do that subliminal holler. I ain't, yeah. I'm not going to react to the subliminal. No, most dudes ain't. We keep telling y'all, we don't, subtle right. hints do not work. You're right. If you got mm-hmm. something to say, say that shit. Like, yeah, you know? ain't nobody gonna be sitting there. And then and then the hints be trash. I just don't want to. I assume. sat next to you. What the fuck that mean? Like, <laughs> a thousand people sit next to me. So what? Right. <laughs> you want them to just I come up and be like, I want to smash. Yeah, like what the hell? I had a woman say, Yeah, I think we owe it to ourselves to have I've sex. Had that. Yeah. Oh, she was smooth when she said that. We owe it to yeah, ourselves. We owe it to ourselves. I said, yeah, I think we owe it to ourselves. Was to she from sex. high school that just found you on Instagram? Um if she just met you and was like, hey, <laughs> I just camera. met you right hey, now. Sneed uh, making a life decision right now. I <laughs> 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 say you had to say yes to it. <laughs> Sneed <laughs> said, let me you learn from my mistakes. Like, nah, <laughs> I'm cool. The blunt, I respect the blunt. Yeah. As a blunt person, I, I, most women who came to me with the blunt, they got it. Hmm. I was like, okay, let's cut the bullshit. This and is a lot good. of women. It's a lot of women that feel like that too. You know, you it, just it, be blunt and, with them. And I think that's where dudes mess up. Yeah, like as much people want to say, I'm, a, I'm very, and it works. I'm like, this is how I feel about this because I'm okay with the, I'm good. Okay, that's fine. That's mm-hmm. the one I avoid. I get I'm okay. nervous. Like, oh damn, that's her line. <laughs> How many other people said, hey, uh, we owe it to ourselves. <laughs> that, was a, that was a cold line. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like a cold she got line. wine did, did with you, her. Did you dab? Yeah, I was like, I think we owe it to ourselves. Yeah, you're like, because <laughs> it, right. it cuts out right. all the wondering. You're like, yeah. oh, this is, and there's no pressure. There's no, oh, so yeah. we both want to do this consensually? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm like, nah, there's some bacteria in that. Oh, I mean, that's, Ooh, all that's, that's always, always feel risk. like, uh-huh. Uh, I mean, that's what somebody... Everybody's falling for that one. Damn. Mm, that's nah. funny. Bacteria in that. Mm. I, I, don't, I don't mind yeah, that. Just up front. Let's good. cut the bullshit. Just keep it, keep it real. Yeah. And even if that's not your approach, even if it's not a, I want to smash, but it's like, you know what? We should hang out. That's fine. Like just just be but be honest. Like right. just be, tell me what you want. Yeah. <laughs> tell me what like, you want. Like, it was the, the real quick. It was the Porky Pig. <laughs> 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 tell me <laughs> That signature, <laughs> man. God damn. <laughs> so just let's hang it down. out. Is the one I hear the most often. Let's yeah. hang out. Let's hang out. Which is fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I hear most that's often. A general yeah. question, but that's a, that's still an ad. I'm that's still an approach. You. Yeah. yeah, I'm interested in you, so let's just hang out. It takes the pressure off everything else. Yeah, mm-hmm. there. Yeah. yeah, POV. I don't mind the DM. Like, was that you up at the or the calling of a friend to be like, "Hey, uh, such such seen you up there. She wants to hang out." That's what I like. That's still in a. That's still a that's shot. Still, it might be. It's yeah. a via third party. Yeah, it's a little, but it's still it's a, a shot. shot. Yeah, it's still a shot. Yeah. That's okay. It's still letting you be known. Subtle shot. Yeah, I, I'm interested. 
some hard eyes on a story that you posted of your Nah, that don't mean shit to nah. me. She might have just been on the toilet and feeling like <laughs> <'Cause> that could <laughs> be an accident. It depends right, on what the post is. Oh. If it's just my face and you do that, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Hard eyes, man. But if it's like, you know, it depends on what's going on in the uh -huh. in the video. If it's just me and the cats, yeah, it could just be for the cats. It could right. be for the cats. You know what I'm saying? So it's like hmm. it depends on what the post is. It could be hard tricky, eyes. huh? Yeah. Oh, Tony be getting them fire with the peach next to it. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> fire with the peach. Fire with the peach with the next peach? to it. <laughs> Yeah, so it just depends. Totally but I just, I just don't like when they get mad at weak ass clues that we didn't pick up on. Right. That's what my post was about the other day. Yeah, it was right. just like y'all have no game because y'all be mad at bullshit ass clues that we didn't get. Like, how the hell are we supposed to know this from this? Yeah, yeah. And they'll I'll call talk to you about the Brandy album. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll call the actual curve too. Like you curve me? No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know. At all. I asked you out when I said my favorite Brandy song was yeah. Full what? Moon. I was asking you out. I was like, what? That's, that's a true, that's what I hate. That's a true oh, example? Huh? Nah, Is that it? Nah, oh. nah, <laughs> just something. But yeah, so it's like. I wouldn't nah. catch on unless you got like the water splash with a cat. Then I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's yeah. I understand. Yeah, they do the finger point with this on the other end. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, okay, oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so that'd be that be you my made whole top thing. ten attractive uh, attractive men list. I, I, I see, you, Tony. On to cars. Oh, yeah, to cars, yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. surprised. Yeah, well, congratulations, man. She spelled my name with an I, though. She did. I was like, man, man. <laughs> Tony. Tony, Tony. <laughs> Tony with an I goes to Tony. <laughs> Tony Braxton. What yeah. number was he on I the was list? Honored. He was number one. Oh, he was I number one. the first one. Who was number 10? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But Tony's name was spelled bigger than everybody else's name. <laughs> Maybe it was Tony. a different Tony. Huh? Maybe it was, was a different Tony. There was a Tony Becker. Could have been a different Tony. Could have been. We know that guy. <laughs> but it was a hybrid, like two niggas ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Could have been a combination of the two. I was honored though. I'm honored to be on any list. Yeah. yeah. Man, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to thank the Academy. I gave a long speech. <laughs> like, like to thank the, the Academy. I'm like, you know, I like to thank my parents. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? First of all, my agent. <laughs> my the agent. My agent. The foreign press. <laughs> <laughs> I was honored to be included. Uh, that to be, all that being said, ladies, you suck. That's <laughs> shooting your shot. Thank you, Style. I appreciate it. Not I appreciate trash. it. Nice. Um, but yeah, everybody's going to start making lists now. I know. Nah. I mean, people always do that. <laughs> yeah, they, they, do, they do that. Most yeah, attractive men. I used to make lists all the time in college. I used to get in hot water. How you gonna have me? How you not gonna have me on the list? Ain't that like, some? If we made a list right now, that week, hmm? would you make a list? Top ten attractive do, women in comedy. I don't do any any of that. I, I don't, I don't care about any of that stuff though. Like <laughs> being on them or creating. Yeah, them. Like, I'd be like, really I'd be, I'd be, yeah, I'd be like, you be want to make. I like list. making lists. <laughs> I love making lists, man. Top ten movies, top ten. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I have a top ten most attractive female comedians <laughs> in my mind. Oh, I, I, you, mm. just, you just don't but want I'm, no problems. I would never post that. You never put it. I get ripped to shreds. Yeah. For your movie list, black movie list, I was actually like, "Yeah, Tony got three of our movies oh, up Wayans in the top was thick ten." On that yeah, mug. <laughs> all right. Because yeah. I, I was doing the tally up in my in my head, like after the after we did it. Because me and Kev, we just, we have our own five and then they come together. Mm -hmm. So it's really not in order. Bless you. It's um. just how they came. So we did top 10 black comedies of all time. It was uh, Coming to America, yep. Friday, mm -hmm. Friday. Mm -hmm. Life, House Party, mm -hmm. House Party, Hollywood Shuffle, Shuffle. I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, mm -hmm. Don't Be a Menace, mm -hmm. Boomerang, <clears throat> Black Dynamite, and um, uh, Missing One. Harlem Nights? Harlem Nights. Mm. Yeah, I was about to say, you got it. Yeah, yeah, got it. That's so those 10. Great so list. It was just like four Eddie Murphys. Mm -hmm. Three Wayans. Three, three Wayans. Keenans. No, it was more than that for, for Wayans because it was like, don't be a menace. I'm going to get you sucker. Hollywood Shuffle. And Hollywood Shuffle. How, oh, yeah. I feel like it was one more. That was it. That was it. That's yeah. three. Mm. Then it was and House then Party. It's and three John Q. Witherspoons. Three John Witherspoons Friday. Uh, and then the Hollywood, Hollywood Shuffle. Hollywood Shuffle. Friday and house party. Mm, yep. 
It was uh, mm. Martin Lawrence was on there three times. House Party, Did you say, Boomerang. Wasn't it Life? Did life. you put life, life, oh, life? Yeah. Mm. So Bernie mm. Mac oh. is Life, Don't Be a Menace. Maybe just two films. Yeah, because he wasn't in that first House Party. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Rock is on there twice. I'm going to yep. get you sucker, Boomerang. Yep. Um, Those two uh, kick-started him really heavy. Right. I would mm. love that. Like for my debut to be a one rib, that shit was so Man. memorable. <laughs> that was my, <laughs> see, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't care, like people like want to start, I'd be like, I would love just a scene stealing mm. one part that everybody remembers. And that was a joke wow. from his set, wasn't it? He would he would do that part of his set. Yeah, and he just they were just oh, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know that. and they were just like, just come, and, 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 and. just come and do that. That's, was that the joke he had already? Similar. Oh wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> I put him yeah. up there. That right there. Then he had all it that money annoying, in his pocket. Though. I was like, oh, they man. were calling him the rib man forever. Like Damon was the banana man forever. <laughs> For Beverly Hills Bana- Cop. Yeah, forever. And then Chris Rock was in Beverly Hills Cop too. Mm-hmm. That was before I'm going to get you sucker. Yep. So I did see Chris Rock mm-hmm. before I'm going to get you sucker. Because Beverly Hills Cop 2 was 87. And then I'm going to get you sucker was 88? I thought it was 86. What was 86. I'm gonna get you something. I don't think it was '86 because no, I saw it in theaters as a kid in '86. Oh, that's your been. uncle, man. Supposed to know. I was only eight years old. You supposed to know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was on set. <laughs> I think it was '88. Oh, okay. So that means I saw Chris Rock, but he didn't stand out to me in Beverly Hills Cop too. No. But that one yeah. rib. That one rib. Yeah, yeah. That, that right there. Yeah, he stood out there. For the... What was he in Beverly Hills Cop too? He was a valet. Oh yeah. When they pulled up with the cement mixer. He was like, I get such and such for this, such and such for this, but what the hell is this? Yeah, because Eddie Murphy saw him in uh at the comedy club and he threw him up in there. Damn, I feel that like in the eighties. Yeah, I was like, I was just about to say, I feel like back in the day it was just like fifteen minutes getting this movie. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Still like, that. Still like that. We still do that with yeah. people. I'll be like, people man. like, man, I like you. You want to do this? It's still the same. Mm. Yeah, I feel like not for like. Start like, like you know what I mean. Going into a comedy club and someone there sees you and say, "I like you. You want to do this film?" Yeah, yeah I don't be seeing it. That's that what happens, happened to me yeah. with Outlaw Johnny Black. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so it still happens. Mm. It's just, maybe it just felt it, like in the '80s though. Everybody not only did it happen, but everybody became stars. Well, right. that you know yeah, what I mean? Like that's... everybody got a TV show. Or everybody got like it was like you well, so, you did something and then boom. It's also looking yeah. back on it, being like, oh, that the guy was in that movie. Yeah. That's true. We know their stars now. Yeah. They don't have no stand-up shows to where you, like Def Jam, where you got on Def Jam, yeah. you yeah. working yeah. It meant that. a lot. Now, the yeah. difference is now, for one, We're there's way though. more content yeah. now. So it's mm-hmm. harder to see something. If something pops, it still has that star-making quality. Uh-huh. Like once Tiffany did Girls Trip, I was out of here. lights out. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you just need that right project. It's got to pop. It got to pop. Yeah. So she that's had an all star cast yeah. too. So that was yeah. And you know, if you pop in a in a popular movie, you be like, yo, that's that one because the cast was popping from you know Michael Blackson popped from Next Friday. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. That scene. That, that was scene. My that scene, bro. scene, bro, was so funny. I would love just a killer, a small ass. You want a small scene? Cat, Cat Williams take scene. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Cat Cat Williams Williams oh yeah. Money yeah. from Friday after next. Yeah, it was, he was on, on my cell phone for the longest. So that just. <laughs> <laughs> money you know. Mike, mm-hmm. money Mike. So you just need, you just got to be in the right thing, right? And then mm. you just sky's Damn. the limit. That's the that's the tricky part, though. And even though I had already known Michael Blackson from Comic View, mm-hmm. I still was like, but this, yeah, this that shit. was the. That's, I was like, that's dude. Yeah, like, yeah. I said this thing. I was like, oh, that's homie. Didn't I know didn't, his name at all. Yeah, I didn't even. Know. I was like, that's dude. Because I remember his joke on Comic View because he was like, this is a picture. He had a picture. <laughs> Uh, cut out, you know, a paper, mm-hmm. piece of paper that he had folded up, and he was like, "This is a picture of me," and it was he had glued one of those jiggly eyes, <laughs> a black, <laughs> a black piece of paper. He's like, "And this, this is my penis. And this is more of my penis." And by the time the paper, it was just all dick. He was like, "This is more of my penis." <laughs> but I remember, I remember that joke. Yeah, I had never seen him until next Friday. Until next Friday, yeah. Yeah. Comic View was the first time I saw Scruncho. Was the first time I saw a lot of people. I had never seen Mike Epps until uh, Friday. Me either. Yeah. 
Yeah. Friday was my intro to Mike Epps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't even watch Comic View like that. Usually yeah. when it came on, get your laugh on. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they would show one comic do a joke, then the next comic Once they did the, the compilation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I hated the compilation. Once it got crazy. Get your laugh on. <laughs> yeah. hey. Get your laugh on. Once it became yeah. a shit show, I was like, no. Nah. Yeah. Hey, but I remember Scruncho, <laughs> Scruncho had this joke about thugs taking pictures. Uh-huh. And then he took his shirt off, but he leaned, he leaned on his arm, but his face was serious. <laughs> so he was like leaning, he just, he took the picture. And I mean, me and my dad was in <laughs> tears. Cause it's just the way he took the, like you didn't yeah. see it coming. He was, every other pose, and then he just leaned over and, and his face was straight. Damn, it was funny. My intro to Scruncher was how high. How high? Mm-hmm. Yep. The assistant pimp. The assistant pimp. Him and Mike kept yep. rolling in the car. Uh, <laughs> that, was my, that was my intro. Give me my powder. That was classic, bro. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was a classic thing. Yeah. Powder. That was classic. And I remember everybody at school just be like, yeah. I mean, yeah. All right, guys, now, was that a scene that should have. Should have scrunched him? Yeah. No, because it was really Mike Epps doing it. <sighs> You know but I mean? Scruncho stood out. Yeah. It was like, yo, mm-hmm. those two together. It was like, it was like, right. a, it was, it was a package deal for those two. So it was like they were both funny. Yeah, but it seemed like Scruncho should have got more opportunities. Yeah. I mean, but you know, I've seen a lot of cats like because he looked like he could act. He did a great job. Yeah. Scruncho did an amazing job. Yeah, so you know, like you'll see some comedians and then they'll come audition. And you go like, ah, this is why you're not, yeah. you know, mm. bigger than you know TV mm. or movies. Like you, you kind of see it right away. Sometimes um, it's the off camera stuff. I was yeah. about to say. Yeah. I was that's, watching an interview thing. with uh, Tyron Turner. He was on uh, the Art of Dialogue mm-hmm. having an interview, and he was talking about like, because um, the Allen brothers always talk about Tupac, mm-hmm. and Tyron was just like, "Yo, man, talk about you know us too, you know," because it was like Minister Society. It was like we worked together to make that what it was. Mm-hmm. And so he, he keep talking about Pac all the time. Talking about when Pac beat Alan him up. Hughes. No, they weren't talking about the beat up, but it was just like <laughs> Tyron Turner was basically like, just get off his dick, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was like Tupac wasn't bigger than Menace to Society. You know, so it was just like, you know, give us props as well. And then he was he was saying something like, you know, and a lot of directors they keep working with the same actors going mm-hmm. forward. And so I was just listening. I was just like, mm. so, you know, he only did that one project with the with the Hughes brothers. But then I was thinking, like, well, I was like, but on the contrary, the Allen brothers did work Hughes with the same brothers. actor because they, they worked brothers. with, uh, oh, yeah, the Hughes brothers because they worked with Lorenz Tate. Mm-hmm. Right after that with uh, Dead President. Dead Pre- so yeah, I was yeah. thinking it must have been something else. It's because Tyron- didn't want to work with Tyron again. Right. Tyron always sounds like, even in that interview, he sounded like he was being in the interrogation room. <laughs> he was doing the stutter. And oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he yeah. Yeah, fucked up, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he, uh, so I was thinking like, it must have been something outside of, because in Dead Presidents, you got Clifton Powell and mm-hmm. Lorenz Tate, mm-hmm. both in, and they was both in Menace. Yep. Right? So it was like, it must have been something else. Uh-huh. Yeah. To where the Hughes brothers was like, no, we. Well, you can't throw everybody in there from the same movie, right? You can't throw you everybody. Can. But he Shit, was Adam just, Sandler he them can. do it all the time. Yeah, but like, they they also can. know that. Like that's that's a <laughs> it's it's different because you go like this is a silly we, a we 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 know this is going to be lot. a silly comedy. Spielberg, he took but Harrison not the whole cast. A lot of movies. That's a that's a person. Well, those two people stole the movie. Well, I'm talking about three people. You go like it's a lot. That's that's no, a whole. Normally, people don't. Normally, directors don't bring the whole cast, but they bring several. Yeah, right. Like uh, if you look Robert at, Townsend, Robert Townsend, um, and, and uh, shoot, even Christopher Nolan. Mm-hmm. He'll be, he'll be like. I've seen right. him use the same people for different things for sure. He'll 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 use usually like with a Christopher Nolan movie. He's like, all right, you watch The Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Tom Hardy was in Inception. Mm-hmm. Tom Hardy's in every movie. Then Tom he did. Hardy. <laughs> then Tom Hardy is in yeah. The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, every movie he, he did. In, uh, Dunkirk. Michael Caine is in damn near every. So they had a favorite. Movies. Spike Lee got Denzel. Spike Lee, Buck oh, Wild, Denzel, uh, light skin dude with the yeah. You got a five head. He in a hell of Spike movie. His Roger, sister and also Mookie. Yeah, yeah, he in, he in a lot of Spike movies. His yeah. sister always up in there. Yeah. He, Spike used a lot of the same people. Yeah. A but lot to put of the same three people. or four of them in the same movie, you go like, this looks like 
Usually, even they, if it's usually different, usually they switch up the the main characters. Right. They'll 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 use one, and mm-hmm. then they have some similar side characters. Like at their president, you had Lorenz Tate. Clifton Powell didn't have a big role mm-hmm. in either, but right. he was still memorable yeah. in both. It was a small role. <laughs> it was memorable. Yeah. Sure. Fuck yeah. ass motherfucker. Huh? It's a, it was yeah. memorable. That was my favorite scene. Oh, bro. Uh, Keith David. Uh, Keith David. Fucking punk ass. Movie. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what Key, I want something like that. that a real just small a real, scene just that, a, that just, just for my debut. Just, just to be like, I like that dude. So you know you done fucked up, right? Did that take him? No, oh, he was already. Nah, who well, he was. Duke was already. That was Bill Duke. Yeah, yeah. Duke was already. Car wash was his. Yeah. He was also in Predator. Predator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah he had a bunch of shit. He was yeah. a veteran actor by that time. Yeah. 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 So it's like, but there's always those roles that, you know, or you can have a lead role, or big, not even the lead, but the co lead. Mm-hmm. Like Lorenz Tate and oh, yeah. Menace. And, like he, he stood that, out. He stood in that out. Movie. And so it was just like that. That's what made his career. He stood out more than Kane? Yeah. I would yeah. say so. Yeah. Old Dog was way Old more was memorable crazy. than Kane. His walk yeah, made me laugh. just that that gang. What you say Kane, about my mama? Kane, he, he immediately hits you in the face. Yeah, like he's the one in that liquor store, the aggressor. Kane was just in the background. Kane right. is the lead, but it was like, yo, this old dog cat is crazy. Yeah, yeah. so it was like, <laughs> wait, he was leaning yeah. over the cat. <laughs> I about my mama, I was like, oh shit, you know what we doing here? Oh man, that's classic. And so yeah. But directors use the same people all the time. That's yeah. what you want. You want a director that fucks with you. You're right. Yeah. You're you know he's going to deliver. You're like, oh, come on, the dude. Directors are, a lot of people sleep on how important they are to your career. Mm-hmm. Sam Jackson owes a lot to Quentin Tarantino. Mm-hmm. Even though Sam Jackson was already working, Quentin Tarantino but made him. Actually, Gator was off. the role that made him be like, yeah, that's but he Gator. Wasn't, Do the dance. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't take off. I'm sick, mama. <laughs> Great role. <laughs> Sam Jackson was always in stuff. He was in Spike Lee joints. Yeah. He, he was in, what you call it? He was, he Come was to working. America. He was always working. Right. He yeah. was working. Yeah. But Pulp Fiction just took, yeah. Mm-hmm. The and, Harry Curl. Credit to the director. And, Qu- and Quentin Tarantino does that. Like, you know, people that are in his movie, Christoph Waltz, took off. Like, mm-hmm. you know, so he create. he's good at creating, like, you know, he'll either resurge your career like he did for John Travolta, mm-hmm. or he'll introduce... You know, new people to, and then once you deliver in the movie, the director's like, "I know this guy's gonna deliver." Yeah, yeah. I, I know he could do it. Yeah, right. or they or they be like, "For my next project, mm-hmm. I'm gonna put yeah, him in I'm the pro- lead," like he did with Killian Murphy, mm-hmm. who just got an Oscar. Yep, but he's been a mad Christopher Nolan movie, so it was just like, when I do open time, I want you to be him. Mm-hmm. Like, so. It's important for actors. A lot of times when that. you're writing yeah. too, you have someone in mind that you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, mm-hmm. they're going to deliver. Right working now. on something for you. Mm-hmm. And the off camera stuff, of course, like we mentioned. Like, I'm starting to see that stuff more. Like mm-hmm. that. And, and it's like, I see why you, y'all careers didn't go. It wasn't talent. Y'all careers failed because of you. A lot yeah. of people cannot yeah. get out of their own way. Right. Yeah. Like, they just can't get out of their own way, just fucking up. And yeah. It's like, bro. This is still a job. I think talent probably like, only might work. be 30, 40% of it. Hey, man. Yeah, sometimes talent <laughs> will get some of that off-camera bullshit. Right. But, yeah. but if your talent isn't way up here, that off-camera bullshit's going to like, fuck bro, you. Oh, nobody yeah. want to deal with this you shit. You got to be prime right. talent. For you people prime. To put up with, right. For people to put up with your bullshit, you right. got to be prime. Everybody wants that on their set. Right. Those shots cost money. I love watching uh, lists of like... The most difficult actors mm-hmm. to work with. <laughs> They'd be the same suspects on all of this. Yeah. Who's on the list? Steven Seagal, Val Steven, Kilmer. Steven Seagal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Val Kilmer used to be a mess. Uh, Captain Heigl got in her own way. Damn. Because uh, Val Kilmer was is an amazing actor. Yeah, yeah but he was just doing way too mm. much. It being <laughs> super difficult. <laughs> Director's nightmare. It was just like, yo, this cat right here, man. We can't. Because he, 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 he was set up to be the guy. No, yeah. absolutely. You know, he stood out in Top Gun. Mm-hmm. And then, you know. Was, he, I'll be a Huckleberry. Was oh, that his Tombstone? role in Tombstone was amazing. Doc Holliday. Yeah. And then he was Batman. Right. It's just, Damn, man, he, he was, was killing yeah. But no, it was just like oh, it's difficult to work with, man. And then you know he, then he's in movies that flop, and like, oh, you difficult, and your movies flopping, man. Yeah, get him up out of here. Come on, man. Yeah. We losing money. <laughs> we look. Who else was be... on that list? Oh, uh, 
who else? My stomach is going on. Mine it's too. Going I'm starving. <laughs> we had Craig pop shots over here. Oh, let me do this ad, though, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me add it up, man. You know what I'm talking about. You feel me? Top of the morning to you. This episode is brought to you by St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Shave with at Manscaped. Oh, is that what that is? Is that they doing the Irish accent? <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning. Oh, man. I didn't know what was happening. This year, don't just chase rainbows. Make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders in the below the kilt care. Say goodbye to your clover forest with Manscaped. Uh, the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 and let your confidence shine bright. Embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million worldwide who trust Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com and use the code issues, issues. for 20% off plus free shipping. Um, ever since Ever since I've used Manscaped, I can probably say that I found my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I love Manscaped products. Mm -hmm. I'll be using them all the time, damn near daily. I use mm -hmm. the chapstick today. I mm -hmm. use the body wash today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll be shaving my balls with Manscaped. Mm -hmm. I'll be all in. Uh, meet your lucky charm for St. Patrick's Day, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This trimmer comes with two interchangeable next-gen skin-safe blade heads. One for a classic trim and a new foil blade to go smooth whenever your uh, heart desires. Equipped with dual LED spotlights, navigate your shamrock mm. patch in peace. Worried that you'll make a mess? Fear not. This uh, this wonder is waterproof, so you can shave in the showers. Shave by the misty moors under a waterfall or even during a <laughs> rain dance. Its compact case makes it an ideal companion ready for adventure or last-minute plans. Trimming the hedges in your Irish garden isn't just for below the belt. Complete uh, your look with Manscaped's signature Beard Hedger Pro Kit plus Handyman Electric Face Shaver. Whether you're sculpting your beard, Craig, or clean, <laughs> cleaning up your neckline, these are always the right tools for the job. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code ISSUES. Ish. And manscaped.com, that's 20% off and free shipping with the code issues, issues. at manscaped.com. This St. Patrick's Day, make sure your little hairy leprechaun is luckier than ever <laughs> with Manscaped. <laughs> yeah. What's St. Patrick's Day? It's probably. Hairy that's leprechaun. another thing. It's They're saying uh, Columbus Monday. Short shot himself in the foot. Yeah. But that's what, with, with, with black actors, if you get caught up in the Hollywood drug scene, it's really rare that you make a comeback, mm. but we just seen Robert Downey Jr. win an Oscar, right? And he was caught up in it. Come back We're not as century. forgiving of yeah. our stars when they have issues when they drugged out. Yeah. Who who are black actors that have drugged out? Columbus Short. Who else? Because uh, I didn't know he was on drugs. Does Cat count? No, he's never been proven to have. Like Columbus got. Kicked off a show you said Cat? because yeah, Cat Williams hadn't had any issue on the set where they were like drug related. You couldn't make he it drug out. No, I, I haven't heard of him. Uh, that Cat Cat it. was getting into some wild shit. Cat wasn't for on a drugs. While. Yeah, off off. But he he said he was, he was never on drugs. I would say the same yeah. thing. That's what he said. So that's all we got to go on. <laughs> God, yeah. does, does we count as a drug? I can't, man. Mm -hmm. I just know Cat was on his own time for a minute where he'd show up late, but I don't know if what it was. Showing related. up late is one thing, guys. <laughs> Be fighting children somewhere. Be <laughs> then, he, then, he, then he get arrested at like a target or something. He was like, he got arrested yeah. a lot. <laughs> like, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Slap the that's <laughs> drugs, guys. The cashier. Or something but like he's that. not doing movies. Uh, he, but is that why? That's what, remember he got in trouble because he couldn't go do... He couldn't do Fool's Gold because he had some legal issues, so he couldn't go to Australia to shoot Fool's Gold, and then Kevin Hart replaced him, which I think started his issue with Kev. Mm -hmm. That's what I think, personally. Because I know he has an issue with Kev. Yeah. He's always shooting at him. I just feel like Kat was like, that's supposed to be me. <laughs> I mean... It was. It was. <laughs> that was his role. <laughs> and then somehow, Kat was... A but Kat you can't be mad killing. at Kev. No. For taking the role, no, nah. But it's like that. Unless scene. they was tight, but still. But if, if we were tight, and I was like, "Yo, I can't go do this." Wouldn't you want your homie to go do I it? Would, I would. But everybody not built like that, right? I'm like, hey, dog, I messed up, bro. Well, Kill that piece. I definitely believe in like, well, if it can't be me, yeah, I, I would hope it would be somebody I fuck yeah. with. Yeah. Right. 
If Let's I keep it like, in the yo, keep it in the family. Yeah, like, I, man, I'm keeping yeah. it in the family, McGee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I should be. I'm like, well, yo, you I got Tory Hart now. I can't go to Australia, so uh, <laughs> right. I threw your name in there. I threw your hat in the ring. I like seeing, like, even if I can't do something on a personal tip, like when we just can't, you know, we get offered gigs. Mm -hmm. I'm calling people that I know first. Right. I want somebody else to get it. Exactly. Like, That's let me throw my nigga be. some money. Like, right? Yeah. Why would I? You know, some people sometimes feel like it's a setup, like with the Steve Harvey, Bernie Mac thing. They like. Steve Harvey called and was like, I should be in Ocean's Eleven. Mm. Trying to step over mm -hmm. Bernie. He called who? The producers of the film. Jeez, well, that's different. That's, that's shady. That's right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> big shit. We talking about throwing favors. I mean, that's, <laughs> right. just some, yeah, that's big shit. That's right like, there. I want your shit. Yeah. Right, that's, yeah. that's wild. Damn. Steve had his shot. Bernie's too dynamic. <laughs> that dude was just going to be a star, bro. Yeah. It was yeah, nothing Bernie's stopping. Jingle leg, jingle leg, he jingle stole leg. every Every single. I know. Every time. He always stood out. It's too, but Steve Harvey is huge. It's, Steve it's Harvey had already had his own TV show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of two, because he had, he had two. Me and the boys. Mm -hmm. Me and the boys, mm -hmm. and then he had the, the Steve, Steve Harvey, Harvey show. show. But Bernie Mac was just always popping up and stuff, and it was just like every yeah. time he showed up, it was like, man, he's just a better. I can't remember yeah, a Steve guy. Harvey movie. I know he's done though. fighting Tim. T no, not sorry. Not I that remember one. the Johnson several. Family Vacation is the only one I can remember. He was good in there. He was in You Guys Serve. He was in. Oh uh, yeah. He was in that one with uh, Nick Cannon and Christina Milian. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I never saw that. No, no, no. no. Uh, <laughs> Love no cause it's terrible. I he was, he was good it. in there. Because it's not like <laughs> he, was, he was in stuff and he's bad. <laughs> right. But he's not Bernie Mac. I don't ever remember know. him. Was Steve Harvey the judge? And what was that dance? You got movie? served. You go, oh, yeah. I said something. But yeah, I got one of them He should have stole the scene somehow. Got it. He did his thing and you got served. It wasn't bad. memorable. But, but, but. I'm trying to get a beat on what black actors have been drugged out. Drugged out? Was it? And didn't get a chance Jacob? to come back? Yeah. The drugged dude was Cochise. He was killing for a while and then got caught up in drugs and disappeared. Oh, Whitney Houston count? Mm -hmm. Wait, the uh, dude that played the Cochise. father in the Jacksons? Yeah. Yeah. But that was a long time before he got back on screen. But, that, but it the, wasn't. But that was his resurrection. It was, wasn't that a TV movie? That but shit it, is but it popped, huge, though. though. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, was Darius McCray? No. no. Oh, okay. No. Sorry, Darius. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he just recently got in trouble for some shit, though. Oh, okay. But you bring up Columbus, it's like he's still doing, getting in trouble and stuff. Like, if you're nah, talking about. He just involved himself in the Diddy incident. He his, didn't get in his, trouble. Here's the difference with Columbus Short he has assault issues. Against women, like he's had, like he been attacking people, whatever, mm. and so that's a that's different. Robert Downey Jr. was just on drugs, you know. He just hurt himself, you know. He did walk up in somebody's crib and just go to sleep, but it was like <laughs> that's harmless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it's harmless. different. It's different when you when you're assaulting victims, so it it, it gets yeah. a little. Charlie Sheen had his drug problem for a long oh, while, but he he fucked up his own career. Then they brought him back to two and a half men. But it's it's, it's, it? it's again though. It's like drugs though. Uh -huh. I thought they killed <laughs> him off. No, I mean before he. I'm had really two trying to think of what men. black. I can't. I, I can't think of a lot. Because Richard, Richard was on his shit. He was. Richard was fine. He was yeah. fine. Um, after Superman, he didn't work again for a long time. Cause, cause he did his own movie. Bombed. Yeah, that movie sucked. For one, that movie sucked. Ass Wait, but but at the same time, he was the highest paid actor in that movie. I wish oh, I was there in that time because because uh, his his drug problem then was well known. He would talk about it on stage. Right. So I wonder if that did curb a lot of opportunities for him because he was you, still working though. But I mean, if you I, like I said, I don't I don't know. He was, was just I, picking bad projects. But so I, I wish at, I was there. If you look at his filmography, mm -hmm. he was steadily working. I know. He Silver was doing Street. Critical Condition, mm -hmm. Brewster's Millions. I remember mo moving. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. It was just bad movies. Toy was that the toy? toy? The toy. Mm -hmm. So Richard was working. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people be like, man, black folks don't get a chance, but I need examples. I'm right? trying to think who we in our community just on we drugs, call a crackhead. Just on yeah. We always call somebody a crackhead. Does Whitney Houston count? Oh, Whitney. Bobby no. Brown? Because you know she was fine. Bobby's back. Wait, wait. Dr. Bobby she was Brown, fine. I mean. Well, she wasn't fine personally, but it, was, it wasn't like people wasn't going to work with Whitney yeah. Houston. For a long but time, until she came she, out the reality You become show. unsurable after a while. Un Remember she, when she came out and, and started singing, performing? It, it it was horrible. But that's not what we're talking about. He that's said, not what we're talking about. 
He, we, the example was Robert Downey Jr. getting mm. the chance to research, and he Ooh, said black um, people don't get that chance. Orlando we're Brown's like, a good one. We're like, who don't get the chance? Well, that's why, because they never got the chance. We can't say Ooh. Orlando Brown though. He's, he's still, somebody that's like, still self I mean, harming his image by yeah. doing these interviews because yeah. he's on drugs. Robert Downey right. Jr. Robert Downey Jr. wasn't he out here made on a one eighty drugged like, out. You have to right. make a one eighty. Make a one eighty. Well, he was mm. lucky in the nineties. Like we're bringing up people who still doing shit. Oh, it's not, I just thought it was people who were drugged out. We're talking about people who made We're a comeback. We're talking about drugs. The comeback. I'm talking about the Robert Downey Jr. Mm. Oh, the yeah. comeback. Damn. My bad. Yeah. yeah, the comeback. I'm trying to think because a lot of times we just say, oh, he's crackhead. So now, yeah. you, so now I'm asking for black examples. I got of you now. Who yeah. didn't get come back? I got what you're saying. I just thought it was black crackheads, <laughs> black people who were <laughs> on drugs. <laughs> I'm trying to think because a lot of times we forget about them because we just call them crackheads and they gone. The black comeback. Well, Sam is one. Sam and Jackson is one. He didn't have a drug but no, problem. But it wasn't, he had a drug problem, but nobody knew. It yeah. wasn't like he was getting arrested. It wasn't, oh, okay. it wasn't okay. a known yeah. thing. Okay. You'd okay. be surprised when he tell you. Okay. Like, oh, we didn't know because he, okay. mm -hmm. he was a functioning Functional. addict. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same way Mike Epps said he did. Yeah, all Mike Epps. Yeah. We didn't know. Yeah. We, yeah. we didn't know. But is there a black actor or star who was buzzing? Gotcha. And we know he was having the drug mm -hmm. issues, mad mm -hmm. arrests with drugs. Right. Hurt themselves. Mm -hmm. Took a break and then came back right. to kill. Redemption. Because when when we when we on stuff, we kind of discreet about it. Nobody really know when we on. It's got to be wild. Yeah, and, then, and we don't toss ourselves like Hollywood we, might not fuck, but we don't toss ourselves away. Our stars no. be fucking up, and we be like, so still buying an album, yeah, still going to the concert, <laughs> still seeing the movie. We don't. We be. Or we be we, we be like all right. What? It's usually a musician or an athlete that gets caught with the drugs. Actors not so much. Like Terrell Owens, we threw him away. Uh, <clears throat> Well, it's got, uh, got caught with drugs. Well, and that him that was driving in the car and they had the cocaine in there. That was uh, oh, that was oh the, that no, was, uh, the big Anderson. lineman. Oh no, well he won a Super Bowl. Uh, Lawrence Taylor won a Super Bowl. Yeah, no, 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 Lawrence. not Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> that dude who had like 160 pounds of coke in his back. Oh man, uh, somebody said Mike Tyson. Somebody said Cuba Gooden Jr. is on something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He's Tyson's a great one. Seen yeah. Tyson definitely bounced back. Yeah. Definitely he bounced about to back. Fight. Mm -hmm. That was years and That's different years too because it's boxing. Yeah. We just need you to fight and be That's fine. Yeah. But even his podcast <laughs> like killing Hollywood, his one man though. shows. Right. Oh, he came back yeah, for sure. He I'm came just back. From, there's no Hollywood. Martin was on some, something. When he was right down he was the just having mental issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought he had a mental breakdown. Yeah. Yeah. But he, yeah. but he it might have been a combo. He was still working though. Yeah. But I'm trying to see who, and are you saying who throws him away? Because we don't be throwing him away. We, no, we, we talking about Hollywood. Okay. When they own the stuff, that's where they at their funniest. They be killing. I I miss. <laughs> they be the killing. They own the stuff. Because <laughs> you, your energy is just yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying. And once they get off, it ain't the same. <laughs> we be sadly. I, I mean, <laughs> so, sadly, but that's yeah, yeah. what it is. Why? It ain't the Sometimes same. Sometimes the drugs make shit better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Low key. Yes. <laughs> like damn. Dennis Rodman. As an athlete, but you know, he was still fine. athletes. It gets a little different. Yeah, I'm trying if, you, to if you're still yeah, dropping would. 40, it don't matter. They don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still getting 87 rebounds a game. They'd be like, nigga, do all we don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Yeah. Big bond. So what? <laughs> Hitting okay. it off the park. I have to get back with you on that one. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't think of anybody. I can't think of a lot of it. Because I'm thinking which ones, but that's what I was saying. They usually just get discarded and we never talk about them again. I'm trying to think who was hot. Uh, who got, well, let's start with who got discarded. What's his name? Uh, Stoney Jackson. Didn't he have a drug problem? And he was the hottest thing smoking in the 80s. Was he? Yeah, know. he was on 227. He was on, he was getting all the roles at first. Oh, somebody said Todd Bridges. He, Todd. Never, he made a comeback way later, but yeah. he went through being super hot on different strokes to... What was his comeback? Yeah, I was saying, was I was the comeback? Comeback. Bridges yeah. of Madison County or something. He played a, a deputy on there. The movie with Clint Eastwood? No, it was a TV show. Oh. I He's still alive? Name. Yeah, Todd. Todd Bridges is still alive. Yeah. Oh, good for you. And Naomi Campbell? And I feel like, I feel like, like all yeah. the black people I can think of, they never, it ain't that like they just got discarded. They never got t t shit together. Like, like in the Robert, if we're using if we're using Robert Downey Jr. as an example, he got his shit together. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people we're bringing up, still doing dumb shit right now. Like when are you <laughs> going to get your shit together to get that chance for the yeah. resurgence? Right. Mm -hmm. 
So it's mm. like, you know. Come on, help me, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm, trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm really trying to think. That's what I'm saying. It, it, I got there's, nobody. There's not a lot of clear examples of people going through what Robert Downey Jr. did on the black tip and being like, so that's why right. when people say they wouldn't give black people a chance, how do we know? We don't have no examples. No. Damn. Yeah, we usually got our shit together, or once we get on the shit, we stand. We stand. We commit them. to our drug use. Well, some of the white, <laughs> like a lot of white, the white man be dipped up. They be, <laughs> they be, they be, they be, be We like, we're not doing this crack. I'm doing it for life. <laughs> we commit. I don't know. I'm trying to think, bro. Yeah, I what's called Tiger Blood, Charlie, Charlie Sheen. Sheen. Then you got Matthew Perry that was doing it all the way. But Charlie drug Sheen problem. was actively sabotaging his own career mm-hmm. with his own mouth in front of us. Yeah. Everything Robert Downey Jr. was doing, it was. It was in real life. Well, no interviews, mm-hmm. no tiger blood, no going on tour, no fuck Chuck Lorre. Well, he was getting caught and going to jail. That's yeah, but weird, but though. we still not seeing him act Queen out. Latif, what's personally. You doing? You know I, what I, mean? I think yeah, Cat bro. counts, bro. Cat Williams. Yeah, I feel like Cat Williams was getting in, into a lot of shit mm-hmm. that overshadowed his talent. Mm-hmm. And then wow. yeah, and he's yeah, kind of blackballed yeah. from Hollywood. Like he should be in things, but right, he wasn't. Don, just Donald on Glover grabbed him in something. Yeah, he was good in ATL. He was great. Yeah, he, yeah, won, yeah. he won an Emmy for that. He did. Yeah, you know, but it's I not, feel like that was kind of a resurgence. I feel like he resurged. He, he's he's not in he any was movie. He's in any TV show. He, he just had, had like a number one tour though. just killed out. Right, he but just I don't sold think out. It was a number one tour, or if it was sold out. Yeah, his his cat tour it's right now. Out. I don't know yeah. the rankings of the tour. I don't, but yeah, I don't know rankings. if it's number one, but he he was sold out everywhere. Right, that was the thing we the selling out. I'm saying you talking about his tours right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. After the thing. Yeah. That. Shame fact, said, but that, that's a he's, different kind he's of research. That's a, right yeah, now. I yeah. know. Because you know, he researched from a podcast yeah. interview. Yeah. But that that's the times we're living in. So now, yeah. now we we'll need see, to see, let's see if, if he it gets projects. into Hollywood. Um, now let's so see. So we're if he's we're in himself. the middle of this yeah. to be continued. Right. Because Cat yeah. was the guy for a while. Yeah. You know, he was he was a regular, he was popping up on my my wife and kids. Mm-hmm. He was a regular on the Tracy Morgan show. Yeah. Yeah. While and now Def Jam. He was everywhere was for that. a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then it was like because there was a moment where it was like, man, Cat Williams is that dude. Well, but then he was on tour nonstop for how many tours he say he did? 13? He's still yeah, doing I'm like, yeah, no, he did 13 on. specials, he said. Yeah. I feel like he never stopped though. Yeah, but it was still, it was still just there was a disconnect between the projects. Though. Yeah. So we'll Dang. see. We'll see if he, he yeah. pop up in a motion picture soon. We quick to call it. Drug. If we don't see you for a while, he must be on drugs. It's not that. <laughs> it was just the, it was the arrest. Yeah. The it's fight. all it was yeah, fighting the dumb the kid, shit that was going on. Yeah. By, by a kid. Put the head losing <laughs> a fight to the kid. Didn't he get slapped <laughs> on stage? Didn't somebody in Detroit just slap him? Don't no, stay. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, he had no, he had so was, many things back was, to back. Was, I stopped yeah, paying attention after a while. Lot. It was a lot. Yeah, I stopped paying attention. Lot going Remember Jamar Neighbors tried chasing. to kill him in a comedy store? Huh? <laughs> Jamar Neighbors was trying to kill him. He trying to house. kill him. It was just <laughs> he chased Face on Love with a with a gun in the parking oh, lot. I ain't see. It was yeah, just a lot. It was, was a lot stuff. going on. So it was just like, hmm. Remember when he came to the comedy union, threw that money at ends. Oh. On the table, <laughs> yeah. He just threw it on the table. Uh, I guess it was it was a show that Cat did a long time ago at the union or whatever, and some money issues or something. So, um, the show he didn't make the money at the bar. It's something that it uh, didn't cover financially. Cat came back, <sighs> just threw it on the on threw the desk it, um, in the office. Uh, in the office, the office yep. where we had to go in there <laughs> for the for the money. If we could get that twenty dollars right. off it. <laughs> The comedy Union. Oh, man. Was Gary Coleman drugs? Oh, Gary Coleman. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. He was. was he just... started doing security, I think, at the Fox Hills yeah, Mall. Yeah, so I saw him. Yeah, yeah. They had him chase him. Later yeah. on. Yeah. To go from that to security at the mall. That got to be drugs. Well, no, his parents took all his money. No, his parents didn't take his money. He's definitely getting swindled by his family. Yeah, that's not your fault. That's not drugs. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's what Then he came back on the reality shit. Huh? He came back on a reality TV. Mm. Then he got you know. into politics. Yeah. He was Did running he? for some yeah. type of office. Yeah. <laughs> um, come back next episode. Gary. I also <laughs> wonder how much of it is like like Black Hollywood's responsibility to keep people acting, keep people working, you know? Like Tyler Perry always did a good job of keeping older stars working. 
Mm. So I wonder, like, you know, there's a lot more black owned production companies. So I'm, I'm wondering if, like, the Issa Rays and uh, what's, what's the are going to employ these? Yeah, because, you know, it's hard. It's harder. There's less roles. There's less roles for black people in general, right? Mm. And so older black people, especially older black women, right? Like, you know, the older women get, the less they, the less roles are. You, you talking know, about less get. roles and white stuff? Yeah. Oh, as okay. far as, like, there's, there's less black now. projects. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And there's way more now, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, do you go grab all these 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 older actors now who mm-hmm. are like having a hard time? Because even even with SAG and stuff, it's like, do a lot of them have a chance to pay their pension? Do they get their retirement? Right. You know, it's like it's a chance. When Tyler said he he paid Cecily Tyson a million dollars, was happy he could make her comfortable near the end. I was like, yeah. she probably wasn't working a whole lot, or even mm, like right. we got a chance to work with Marla Gibbs, which was crazy mm-hmm. enough, you know. And I'm like, I. I see, like I saw her on Blackish, mm. you know. So I was like, yeah, I was like, it's 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 probably our responsibility to hire a lot more of the the older black folks, especially because it, it is hard times. Yeah, and it's hard in general. <laughs> it's just yeah. it's just hard in general to get roles and acting. There's a ton of people still trying to get it. That's why I'm thankful for comedy, man. Because mm-hmm. I don't have to sit here and wait on projects. Right. If I mm-hmm. man, if I was just acting, I would have quit. The stress. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have quit. That's, that's, that's a lot. That's the luxury we have as comedians. Yeah, right. We just go on, on the road. Mm-hmm. And, and there's so, no age limit. Yeah, there's no age just, limit. There's right. no cap on that. We ain't got right. to be dependent on projects. We ain't got to do none of that. We just be like, all right, I'm on tour. And then a lot of times the acting roles pay less than what we make on the road. Right. So it's just like, I right. skip I skip auditions because of that. Like a lot of these commercial auditions, I mean, how much? Kendrick Glaces quit his show. He no. was like, I can make this in a, in a night. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, gonna be you know, paying that much taking pay cuts. Some, no, I mean, the one I just auditioned for, it, it was, it was good. I, I, I hope it? I get that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just auditioned for one uh, Toyota. They needed a comedian. Yeah, this is a universal one or something oh. like that. Did the call back and oh, they shoot the day and I'm here. <laughs> so I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so so now for me it's like you know I just want to be on stuff that I want to be on mm-hmm, right of, like I want to be on Abbott Elementary because I love the show so mm-hmm. like put me on there I don't care what it pay it could be five hundred dollars I want to be on you want to be right yeah so yeah. it's just like wasn't we know. just talking about this on Sunday yep was I talking to you yep yeah because mm-hmm. you asked you asked me what the goal was, Some, right? yeah I yeah mm-hmm. yeah it's like that. stuff I want to be on yeah because yeah. I know what the pay is you know you got to work up to those million dollar right. paychecks right. from movies right and TV show salary TV TV money is good if you're a regular a regular mm-hmm. right that's good money but if you're just doing a one off I want a commercial man I want to be like the B the B Mo guy the, that that uh, the, State the, Farm Bill, or Jake the State Star Farm billboards all over yeah. the place man and you. And they keep they keep bringing you back. You want to be Maybe. Jared from Subway? The what's his name <laughs> on, on camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Jared. On. Ain't no comeback again. Yeah. I don't think he gonna reset. No, that's right. not that, that one. He's, he's done. Jared, ain't he in jail for life? Yeah. 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 Not for life, no. Jail. He in jail. He, he taking his foot longs. <laughs> yeah, he is. He in that mug and his yeah. ass like five, <laughs> five dollar. <laughs> it's just yeah, the acting thing, man. Like, yeah, we were just talking about that. Yep. Somebody asked me, "What's your goal?" And I said, I'm the acting stuff for fun, one, mm-hmm. and two, just to be big enough to sell out. Stand, stand up is the only thing they can't take from me. Right. Yeah. You can take Hollywood from any anybody. You can just, you're blackballed. You're done. Mm-hmm. So, but stand up, you cannot take from me. You can't censor me. You can't, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Right. And I love yeah. the freedom of stand up. That's why I love stand up so much. Mm-hmm. Once you start dabbling into Hollywood, then there's certain things, and even having your own company, there's certain things you got to apologize for because people depend on you. That's why I don't want my own company. <laughs> because I don't want to have to do some shit that I don't want to do because so many people depend on me. Mm-hmm. Right. So if I right. don't apologize or, you know, show, you know, play play nice with somebody, yeah. all these people lose their job. So right. I'm like, I don't want, I just want to do whatever the fuck I want to do. And yeah, stand up is the only thing that gives me that freedom. Tell them to save their money, bro. <laughs> that shit can be gone any moment. Save you know your I mean? bread. <laughs> the ideal setup for me in career would be Dave Chappelle. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's what I use as an example. To get $50 million just with being a stand-up comedian, not that's Chappelle's the, show. That's the dream. I mean, that'd be but great. But he walked away from just, it. You know what I mean? Like, but just the fact that he walked to, away to... from fifty million documents. That's it, right. Not, yeah. just, not just on some. He just said something on it. We know he walked away right. from fifty million dollars. Right. And then to come back and get from 60? just being a stand-up comedian and come back and get more than that. Right. 
just mm. as a stand up comedian. That's the ultimate. That's what you want to. I can see that happening for you, Tony. Come but, on, it didn't get no better. Then he's just doing a star is born just because he wanted to do it. Right. right. Because I'm sure he just did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do it, Bradley. What's, mm-hmm. what's, what's good? What you need me to do? But he still Six. did stand up on TV for oh, that yeah. 60 million. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's fine. fine. That's yeah. what he wants to Because do. it's yeah. his voice, it's his material, it's his special. Right. That's the ultimate. 60 million. It don't get no better. You need nah, four stand ups. Nah. It don't get no better that was, than that. Uh, three. That should be Dave a legend. 20, 20, 20 a piece. 20 a one year, 60. You can do funny. He's still making these. I know. All stand up. And he put them out an hour, I mean, a, 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 a year up. apart. And, and he's putting the homies on. He did three hours yeah, a Yeah, definitely putting the homies on. And I could definitely huh? produce he comedy shows. three show. in one mm-hmm. year. I could produce that. Didn't he do three in one I year? I feel like he did. Yeah. What you said? You could produce what? I could definitely produce a comedy special. Because he did Quake. Can you do, he do th- Lou Nails, huh? three specials within a year for $60 million? Our specials right now. No. <laughs> well, one thing about me, though, is that if I'm not feeling it, I don't want to put it out. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to just do it for the money, and then I'm like, man, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but with Dave, it was also, he had a break in time where he was he still shot doing stand-up. Yeah. Yeah. And then when yeah. they were like, oh, we give you, he was like, oh, I got, I remember I was doing that, yeah. that year, that, yeah. that year, that, I, yeah. yeah, give me that. Yeah, he was sitting on a lot. Yeah. And then Dave didn't go to, sit for eight hours. He got it, plenty of material. But if I'm had, already yeah. millioned up, I'm not just doing specials just to do them. Mm-hmm. I got to feel it. Gotta and feel then it. Dave got more stage time than anyone Anybody. at yeah. that time. He was sitting yeah. on stage for five, five hours, six, six hours. hours. Yeah. Matter of fact, I remember watching him at um, Yoshi's in, in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. And then he said, this is before the Netflix shit came out. And he said, if I orchestrate this the way I'm trying to, I'm going to get all that money back. I'm working on some yeah. stuff right now. He never said what it was. And then... I think it was like maybe one or two years later, sixty million. Man. And I was like, "Oh, this nigga been planning. He was he Damn. knew that it was coming." In. That's the he dream. said, "If I orchestrated it the way I'm," he was like, "Y'all see me, y'all." <laughs> and he talked, and everybody in the audience was like, "The hell you talking about, man?" Right. Everybody's still like, "You walked away from fifty million. We can't let that go." Yeah. How long do you think <laughs> it takes the average comic to do six hours of material, not to build six hours, but just be on stage time, six hours of stage time? Well, because he would do it in a night. Wait, wait, the average. The average oh, the average. like the, the, the non headlining? headlining? We're talking about yeah, real. Non headlining. Because he was doing that in a night where he'd go sit at the Laugh yeah. Factory for six wait, hours. So non headlining. Yeah. The okay, average comedian. So the guy who's headline. doing 10, 15 minute sets, even if it's like a night. But yeah. one, the one thing that's tricky about the five hours, he 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 just up there though. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's we, a lot of we're not just talking about yeah. material. He, he was just talking half time. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about? Yeah. So that's different. You're right. To go up there and do six hours of like, material, like a performance, I don't know. But that's not man. what you're asking. No, I'm just no. saying to even get on stage for six hours. He's talking about how, how long will it take to do it. Here's your 10 minutes. Say, here's your 15. Here's your 20. How long does that take to get your six hours in? What Dave Chappelle's doing in a night, how long right. does it take to get that guy who's grinding? Oh, like two weeks, right? <laughs> The average person don't get up. <laughs> no, you said average time. comedian. Yeah, I mean, the average comedian they're... might get up. Because you said non headlining. So now we yeah. bump it down to somebody who's hosting or featuring. Well, that's 10, 15 minutes of pop. Well, no, everybody's Wait, not the... hosting or maybe featuring. So uh-huh. some people get a set, uh, 12, a seven minute set, right? Uh-huh. And it's not every night. They might have to wait. Right. A while before yeah. they, if a you, week or maybe if you're grinding two days and you're hitting some mics, set. You, you can do somewhere between, you know, 40. A night, if you work hard. forty minutes. Yeah, if you work hard, you can you can you can probably do that. A lot, that's yeah, that's that's a, a lot of spots. Yeah, that's a lot of spots in L.A. I don't know. Well, no. in, in New York maybe, but I'm like I don't know many comics that could, well new like. That's what I'm saying. Headliners. You're saying when you're saying average comedian. The what's, comedian what's the comedian doesn't what's the criteria? and doesn't get 15 minute sets everywhere they go. They usually get a five to seven minute set, and they might get it. Because that's most comedians. Yes, once <laughs> or twice a week. So that's get... not average, though. Because if, if you say average, we have to put, we have to add in these people and then also these. Well, it's very few so there's these a middle. People. Right. But if you say once or twice a week, I think you're lazy. I go, there's no way you're trying to work on this and you're doing it once or twice a week. Uh, that's not possible to me. <laughs> I go, like, this is a hobby. If you're not out here doing you know, the, the work. Because then I'm like, if you're out here five to seven days a week, then you because we used to get, get up a, when we were open mic grind, we used to get up a lot, uh, yeah, like yeah, a lot, a lot. That's when okay, yeah, like a lot. When we were like hitting, we it was a from, daily thing when it was when we were going to like 
calling ahead, saying sign me up for <laughs> going this. Going to Marty's. So going we would to... we would know we would start at <laughs> Flappers, then hit Hollywood and hit Sunset Grill, Marty's, blah blah. So yeah, in those nights. You, even though the sets were only five minutes, we're getting up like four or five times. Yeah. So 20 to 25 20 minutes. 20 to 25. Nights. And we were doing that every day. Every day. So we were doing to that to every six day. hours would be For what, years. A, so about a week or two, like two I weeks. said. Yeah. Damn. And he's doing that in a night. So right. him coming with a special is that right. much faster. Because he's just, I, I don't know. He's just I think, talking. Yeah. And I'm sure but he's, he's talking just his like, ideas out. So yeah. he's yeah. working. You that, know, and I know I a lot of comics something. that can't get up that much. With no. an open mic, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because you're paying to get up. But actual shows. Yes. Yeah. A lot of comics can't. No. Are not booked twice, three times a week. Right. At all. You get up in front of audiences. When your next show. Ah. <laughs> 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 but I go like if you if you can't get up and get some time you're being lazy. There's no reason you can't get up and get time. I, I, but if you're getting not getting actually booked, met in front of it, I got so you. quality stage time. Like that, yeah, that's a different. I'm lazy now. Well, you worked hard to be lazy, dog. Yeah, I'm lazy. I'm hundred percent lazy. <laughs> you're you're I'm the hardest person, work. hardest working person I've ever seen do stand up. I used to ever, but now I'm lazy. Hundred percent. You, you've more than earned time. <laughs> for sure. You should be exhausted. Because I'll be thinking about that. It, it kind of haunts me. Mm-hmm. I don't work nearly as hard as I used to. And you used to grind yeah. and then get up and take the kids to school. Mm-hmm. But sure. you know what's crazy yeah. though? For like sure. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with the lazy aspect as as much as we don't Some have to do that stuff no more. Though. We well, don't. No, no. I'm saying because him calling himself lazy. I'm like, oh, I'm lazy. I'm like, <laughs> if we're, we're never. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be doing, you know, all these mics or shows a week anymore. Cause you, we had to, we had to do that for stage time. Now that we can get stage time, right? It's like, well, now you, you don't built your cadence. You yeah, know you how don't. To write have, a yeah, joke. so you don't. You don't, you don't have, have to do it like that anymore hmm. to work out a new one or to, you know, you'll go on the road or whatever. You you have the time to talk out these ideas. Right. Whereas before, it's like if I don't do this, I'm in the mirror. Like there is no, mm-hmm. I, there is. I have nothing. I have no other options. You work out your new material when you're hosting. Mm-hmm. You also have a bag of material you got that you're like, okay, let me give them a little bit of this and then yeah. throw these new shits. In oh, I had to do that uh, on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I tried these two new. I, I got these two new ones, nigga. They bopped. You came out the gate. <laughs> oh, out the, the gate. Cause I had got real like, oh, I can just. I'm just gonna come do up. this. Yeah. And man, them first two didn't hit. And I was like, well, here's the one I know that works. <laughs> Go to the hits. Go to the hits. Go to the hits. Because I was like, man, nothing. Not, y'all don't like that? All right. Yeah. Yeah, you got to hit those. Uh... I don't know, man. I I, I hear when when I hear people say they're not getting up one or two weeks. I'm like, you're not trying hard enough. I'm in a show like Dave. Yeah, call that's in different. Front of a you, full you could, crowd for that's six different. hours. No, you, yeah. could, that's you could still probably get that if you tried hard enough. Not do what? You have quality stage time. I don't. I don't. You. There's a lot of shows in L. A. There's a lot. There's a lot of shows in L. A. There's a lot of comics in L. A. Right. Sure. And so, a lot of non comics. And, right. and, and I've seen a lot of comedians work and get on shows. There's there's cats who are on even though they're smaller shows that have audiences all the time. So to me, I just go like a if ten you, person audience or like more. There's so many shows. There's so many hidden shows. There's so many shows we don't we don't see or we don't know about. There's a ton of shows out there. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. And so I go like now that you can look up. Shows. No, there's no reason really? not to really. Mm-hmm. I just you go like no, app? you're not working hard hmm. enough. To me, that's what it comes What's down it to more so that? than anything. Mm-hmm. I go like, <laughs> what's, it, what's it called? Who's who? You say the cats ain't working hard enough to say <laughs> if they're like, oh, I'm funny. getting up once or twice a week on like a, a show with the audience. I go like, you can you if you're not in those right places, then you need to be working harder to get in those right yeah, places and, for sure. and making those connections because yeah. those shows are out there and they're out oh, there yeah, every sure. single week, hundred <laughs> percent. So I go like, there's no reason mm-hmm. you go like, no, nah, I can't get a real audience once or twice. I go like, you're not working hard enough, yeah, or you're comfortable doing little mics, yeah. Like no, dude, you gotta go out there and meet people, be in their face. That's, that's a whole nother job. Oh, what if they are working hard and they just not that good? So people not booking them. But you can work hard. You gotta work mm-hmm. harder. Some people work to get hard. better. Oh. Some people work hard. Bad, Maybe. Comedians. Bad comedians can get up all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Bad comedians mm-hmm. and specials. Yeah. Bad, oh, that's bad a, that's comedians a whole are different. out here eating all over the place. Yeah, getting that's up. A whole, that's a whole steadily. different. Yeah. I've seen people bomb for years. Mm-hmm. But they be getting up they all the time. They still be getting up because they they putting the work in. Or they're just likable. Like there's some cats who suck are likable. They have they're in the right space. Sure. Like being likable and building relationships. Half the battle. <laughs> yeah. What's that app? But, you know oh, that app? yeah, I'm going to tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know. It was an app. Mm-hmm. 
And I was like, man, some of the people out there. <laughs> when I hear people mm-hmm. talk about that, Tony, I was yeah. like, y'all, I just... <laughs> You know, I, you know, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll be like, sound like a bunch of excuses. To <laughs> Come on, man. I ain't trying to hear shit. Nah, man. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear shit. I said no. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I knew people that used to work for years, and they just couldn't get booked. Yeah. Every now and again. That's man. what I'm saying. I think I've yeah. I just seen so much. Like, That's a cold game. Yeah. It's, be like, man, some people get to leave the line. Some people don't. Again. Some people, you know. Yeah. yeah. But that's building relationships and being likable. Yeah. Being likable. Now, this dude uh, was liked by (laughs) everybody. He was struggling to get up. He had to start his own night to get up. Yeah. But sometimes you gotta do that. Work, that's yeah, sometimes you gotta do that. That's part of the work. Like, yeah. I, they ain't booking me. I'm gonna I'm I'm start my own. Absolutely. Night. But that's only one a week. Yeah. You're cool. saying you, multiple You can do time. seven shows a week. You can let start. Me, let me ask you do you think there's for the average, and I'm talking about, let's say, Open Micer, they can get multiple. Audience shows a week, like a new comic. Yeah, like a, uh, the average open micer. How do you put it this way? Multiple quality, who, like who I'm was talking having about trouble getting up. Quality <laughs> stage shows. time, multiple times a week. No, what I'm saying is they could get up. Who was times trying to get? Up. No, we already established that. Whether it be open mic or not. No, we established now, that. Now getting he booked. was saying quality stage time. I was and Chad saying. is like, yeah, you can just do hella shows. I'm like, nigga, I, where? No, no, no. I didn't say you can do hella shows. There, there are easily, I nightly, I guarantee you, there's somewhere between five to ten stand up shows going on. Somewhere. I'll put it this way. I was talking about Foo. Foo mm-hmm. was trying for the longest. Everybody liked Foo as a person. Sure, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. he was not getting. But Foo's also inconsistent. Uh, sh- Fu was up every night, damn. Man. I, saw, he was I out saw everywhere. I remember every seeing Fu club. being up for a while. Fu was getting up a lot. Though. Yeah. I was. I remember seeing Fu getting up for a while. Quality, not quality stage time. I mean, he was doing. Every I remember seeing Fu like the ha ha, and, and I don't mean inconsistent on what's quality though. He's talking about audiences. An audience. Say a, was it? Say a chocolate I remember, Sunday. I'm, I'm talking uh, about inconsistent with the last uh, Monday rays. Okay, or, now those those, those type of shows. Okay. Where's people there? But I've seen yeah. food at several shows with real audiences. Uh-huh. Yeah, we were doing them together. So it's like it depends on what you consider they quality. Put is what I'm up saying. At I, I, I went with someone at Ha Ha. Ha is a real. No, that's I a said real... they wouldn't put food up at Ha Ha. <laughs> I seen him there though. Yeah, he was there. I seen him perform I there. I seen him perform there. Same show. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen I perform him. with Fu a, a couple. lot. You see him up there every night. When I used to do the DJ but when in you there. see him perform, <laughs> he wouldn't be often. You may see him there. He wouldn't be there every week. He'd be there every week, but he wouldn't get up but once perform. every four months. If that, I saw him to get back on Terry's good good uh, grace. <laughs> back, in, back in the day. Well, my only thing was Fu was standard wise is Fu was inconsistent getting laughs. That's what I mean. Not that he wasn't oh, yeah, out yeah, right. Yeah, oh, that, that's kind of, a different but story. That, but that, yeah. but that means a lot. Comic. Me and him did but that several means a lot. shows together. Yeah. 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 That's the average comic though. Hey dog, when I used to try to get the <laughs> haha, or when I used to work at the haha, I would ask Augustino back then, I would DJ for free to go get 10, 15 minutes. I did that mm-hmm. all the time for years. Probably at least a year and a half. Me and Keenan. We would do that all the time. And then before we finished, even even when it was officially passed, I still did it to guarantee you get spots. Yeah. Food was, DJ there, and they still wouldn't give him spots. There's no <laughs> reason a DJ did not get you spots. He got to get out of there. <laughs> now you get now you getting pimps. Food would show up early. Food would do, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The average comedian. But the average, I, I kind of I'm kind of agreeing with you there's as far as down. as far as like getting on like good shows with good audiences and blah. That's not. That don't come around. You talking about the laugh factor? That's hard to. We, we Those gotta, are harder. We, we really got to narrow down what y'all mean by a good show. Yeah. Because if y'all just talking about the improv and the laugh factor, those, 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 those are hard. Those are hard. Those are hard. Yeah. There's a, there are good shows outside of those venues. Mm-hmm. And even at those places, yeah. there are a lot of independent shows that get, get brought up there. There's Absolutely. independent right. shows. Mm-hmm. So I was like, there are those, but there's so, like he said, there's so many comments. You're not getting multiple of those a week if you're not. That's. One of the, you know, go to kind of like even remember Stretch had that dope outside show. Mm-hmm. And um oh, yeah, yeah. so there's I a like lot of shows show. like that, yes. But even though they only have so many slots, there's all these people they want to get, they're gonna call to they wanna get these type of people first, and then you know, the open mic as well. And like for an open micer to do several of those every week, that's not happening. <laughs> that's it, not happening. It it can definitely happen. Yeah, it can happen. <laughs> I've seen it. It sounds like that's that's go like, no, bro, you're not doing something. Who, right. Have you seen it more or less? 
It well, could happen. Yeah, that, yeah, it's it not impossible. Usually but happen. that's not possible. I saw shitty comedians up on several shows in different locations all the time. All the time. Now, I can't mm. speak for now because I don't get out as much. So I'm in the house. But back then, I saw several shitty, no name comedians on several shows all the time. And I was everywhere. So it's possible. It's super sure. possible. <laughs> that means it's the same ones, but multiple comics on different shows in a week. I said it, the average comic, no. Up here, yes. But when you're starting out, you're not getting up because, like he said, they start up here and work their way down, and then you might get up this week, and it might be two weeks before you get up on a good show again. So what's a good show? Matter of fact, when we were grinding, how many, how many shows are we doing when we were doing that? Hitting all those, like, shows were we actually doing every week? When we were grinding. I, feel I like didn't we, grind with Keon. I feel like, mm-hmm. I feel like, we, I, I know for sure, dog, that we would get. A, I would get a lot of shows that were ten to fifteen minutes in front of audiences, whether it be at Flappers, whether it be at um, uh, the the store, whether it be wherever, wherever it was. There's there's plenty of shows, and I don't just mean mics. There are plenty of independent shows that people hold at these places that have audiences. There's there's independent shows that we even even if it's in a smaller. What's the improv? The lab. Yeah, how many shows I'm done at the lab? There's more than ten people. That's more than fifteen. That's twenty. I, we've we've done those. It's they suck done, sometimes. But I'm saying how many how <laughs> but, many a week were we doing where we were like on a flyer on a, like there were shows. How many of those were we really doing a week? I I can honestly tell you, bro, at the top grind, you're doing at least five of those a week. <laughs> Abs- absolutely, I must have not <laughs> seen any of this. <laughs> like, I wouldn't say five, nigga, I, wh- but where the hell was I at then? I, that you, I you don't said know. on the flyer booked, bro. Who, where plus, where, plus, where plus, is this plus, happening? Plus, plus. I, I was never see, see now y'all 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 adding stuff in. <laughs> no, I was I never on, be on the flyer. I was never on the flyer. No, no, you don't have to be on the flyer. But we're saying shows. Like I was not getting on shows like that five times a week. Shows. I was never. I was never on a flyer at the Ha Ha. I. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so you're not always on flyers. Who gives a right. fuck about the flyers? Right. Yeah, we're not yeah. talking about no. flyers. Who gives a shit? There are t- so Mike. many yeah. shows. There are too many to not get up I'm multiple gonna ask, times I'm in ask 10 or 15 later times, bro. How many shows he was doing a week when we were open micing it? Like shows. Hey, dog. It sounds like bullshit. It's, it just sounds like someone's not trying hard enough. And I'm not going to be like, oh, you're right. With the t-. No. No, somebody's not trying hard. But enough. what There's I'm saying is, I was right there with you guys hitting the mic, Keon, so I was came, trying. You came much later, Keon. I've been on no, five mics uh, a week. You came huh? much later. No, we're not talking about mics. We're talking about shows. That's oh, what I'm saying. We're talking about, about shows. Years in now. I'm but, talking about the average comic is not 18 years in and no, doing or shows. Or no, you were doing 15 years in. You were doing five shows a week in LA. I would do five a night sometimes. When you, when you first got into the game? Oh, when I first got in? Yeah. Oh, no, no. When I first got in, I was doing, first open, five I was doing years, every first open mic years, I could get my hands mm-hmm. on. I was doing open mics. I was doing bringer shows. I was doing lounges, If you're talking shops, about a, a new yeah, comic, whatever. then I feel you. I was doing everything. I was, are we talking new comics? Well, yeah, the average new, comic the, is under, That's not 12 years in the game, under 10 years in the game. That's a long time, though, to oh, build so, enough so, relationships. So 10 and under. Yeah, 10 and under. that's oh, still a long time, I was doing mad shows. <laughs> five, I'm doing like five shows. Days, I was still doing mad we, shows. We, but, but, that, but Tony also was an anomaly. Yeah. Like Ch- Ch- Tony worked his saying, ass off. I don't think but, I'm an but anomaly Tony like worked that. his ass off. He worked his ass off, and he, 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 he was fucking hilarious. Ass off, and everybody liked sure. it. There's, Tony was everywhere. You're, you're, you're supposed saying to be. it like it's just he's not everybody the average. Is like this. It, yeah, the, no, that's not true. Even starting and that's why it doesn't happen because everybody doesn't have that work ethic. That's why it doesn't happen. Can it happen? Absolutely. And people got off their ass, went out every night. You went, you go meet people. You go, you meet people. But we already people, agreed it's possible. You hit them up. You find, mm-hmm. We know it. So he's saying that's not the person, norm. Because if, if it's a work ethic thing and they're not the average person, that's on them for being lazy. Is Can the average comic do it? Can the average comic be on five shows a, night, a week? Yes. They are out there. They are available. They are available. There's on your, plenty. On your come up, were you getting up? There's on plenty. my come up? Yeah. Were you doing five <laughs> shows a week? I wasn't doing five shows a week. No, I didn't do five. I did get a lot of stage time. I would do two or three shows a week for sure. Do you think you could have gone five? But I was doing open mics. 
Two, I was doing a lot of open mics. I know mics. for a fact, if Chris could have done five. If you want to add some open mics. Now, no. mics, I was but, getting up. No, yeah, I, can, yeah. but, I was getting but, up. But, 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 but my shows, shows real show. book shows, years, whether independent or club or whatever, most, book shows. Most of my book shows, when I first started between one to five years in the game, was... Mm -hmm. Uh, the comedy union, somebody like me, ends. So I was mm. always at the comedy union. Um, I would do open mics for sure, but book shows made... Uh, I was book booked on the show <laughs> maybe five times a month. Bro, booked. that's what I'm saying. Like, if you tell me book, where is it? Where was this five happening? times Sundays. a month, I'm booked. Dog, there, there, you can I'm go not look booked every show. week. I promise you, you can go look online right now and see how many independent shows out there. And but if you can't get on five shows, it is in a lot week, of independent shows. So I was doing shows at Starbucks. It, 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 was, it was a show. Derek Ellis had a show at Starbucks on Crunch Shop. Shoot. That's what I'm saying. Aranza used to have TGIF Fridays. There's so many. Fridays. Aranza, yeah. Oh, yeah, Aranza. That's the thing. That's the thing. So are you counting those? Yeah, how shows. many people are in there? We be plus counting every show that has show. real people in there. Not and a it, mic. And not in LA. It's real in people. LA. Mm -hmm. And a lot, a lot of times with black comedians, y'all just stay in black circles. Now people yeah, do I, that. They, yep. People do that. And so yeah, you 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 hanging out in the same haunts, you just sticking black. That's gonna cut your stage time. Down. Yep. Me, I did every motherfucking thing I could get my hands Bro, on. Bro, I was in East LA a lot. A lot. And El Monte doing 15, 20 minutes. And Montebello doing 15, 20 yeah. minutes. Mm -hmm. That's how I got cool with Johnny Roque and, and uh, Gabriel and uh, right. Felipe before he blew up. Like, we were out there. Yeah. So people were like, those spot no, that's, that's horse shit. It's, it's if you can't there. work there, they're out there. And it's not like some super tight click you can't get in. It's like, you know, be there. Hey, can I? Yes, people throw you up. Hundred mm -hmm. percent. I agree. People will throw you up. People, yeah. will but if you're not, you if up. you're not willing to do the yeah. work, then then shush. Are they out there and available? Hundred percent. Because if you if you listen to most comedians that don't get up that much, you can always hear a nugget in there why they're not getting up more. Yeah, often. there's always a, there's always a giveaway. Mm -hmm. Whether whether it be. I don't want to do these rooms. I don't want to do that. I don't want to drive out there. Mm -hmm. I got my kids. I got to do this. It's, I gotta, it's, there's true. always something to where oh, I see why you're not getting uh -huh. as many you know right. shows. So it's, right. there's always something. But you you can get in front of real For audiences sure. five times uh, several a times yes. a week in L. A. Yes. Los Angeles five. Now Book. now now I'm I'm, That's what, I'm like I'm like bro. <laughs> like, I I don't. I, That's I, a lot of work. Then you're then you're looking in the wrong spot in the wrong spots because they're. Out there, bro. Yeah. The city is huge. The city is it's huge. It's, it's, it's a, I, I agree. It's millions of shows. And, shows. And, and billions of comedians. I don't, I don't Five wanna... booked. If you're, if you're not <laughs> <But> are the <laughs> comedians. But, yes. but, but and one do should, those yes. billions of comedians do they have a car? Are they willing to drive? Are they willing to go outside of Los Angeles? You know, you got these other factors that's gonna filter out a lot of comedians. Yeah, I, a that, lot of comedians didn't have no car. That's true. You know how many comedians I gave rides to? Yeah. Right. That's going to X out <laughs> mad comedians because you can't drive. So that's uh, the average. Right. But, you so, so you have to factor that in. So that's not just a just work hard. Why, why are you factoring that in? Because we're saying the average. Wait a second. Wait a second. Now the average depends on like if you have a car or not. No, he brought that up. He's saying. Uh, no, I'm saying. They're saying there's billions of comedians like that's going to hinder you from getting quality shows. There's, there's, there's no reason. Mm -hmm. and because there's the a lot bus. of comedians. You can still get up on multiple shows Take a the week. fucking bus like I did. Take the fucking bus. I don't want to hear that shit. I walked from from the improv all the way back home to North Hollywood before. I don't want to hear that shit. I, I made that I walk. That yeah, that's that's what I, used to walk a lot. I don't want to hear that shit. Yes. I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, that's when I got the scooter right there. after that. I, so I never want to hear that again. I bought that scooter for five hundred dollars. That's a horrible excuse. That's it, that's, yeah. And I did that shit yeah. rain or shine every fucking day. Mm. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out here going to Long Beach on a fucking scooter. I don't want to hear that shit. You went to Long Beach on a scooter? Yes, nigga. From from North Hollywood? Yes. How did yes. you even do? How did you get there? Nigga, it took long as fuck. Because <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> when did you leave? The day before? You can't take a red eye? <laughs> nigga, how did you get to Long and, Beach? And I had to be at work at four in the morning. I don't want to hear that shit. My kids are working hard. Brian, getting how much time did you do? When, how many shows did you do when I, you got I, there? I promise you it wasn't a ton one of shows. Show. It was probably one show. <laughs> All I could fit in. And we would skate. I would skate back out. I'm going to go do this now. I'm going to go. Nigga, I'd be at the spots. Yes. And then I would go be out in these far out mm -hmm. places. No, if somebody don't want to go to Montebello, I'm a. They're gonna pay me and give me twenty bucks. Rizzo and them used to have a weekly show that we used to go there all the time. I want to hear that shit, bro. No, now, it's still just available. I used to run to the bay all the time. That was my thing. Mm -hmm. That's how. So that's why I was never here. Like when I would be to do actual shows, I would just go home. Go home. And and how many just, would you do in a week? Now at home, I, can, I was getting up. Mm -hmm. But but even he saw that our open mics even had oh, yeah, audiences. Beautiful. The Bay Area comedy scene, like when I was coming up, was amazing. Like yo, open mics. 
had it's like a audience. Show. It's it was a- like a damn show. Mm-hmm. Like the there was a new parish on Tuesday nights. Chris Riggins was the host. Mm-hmm. It was like a like people do concerts at the new parish, and they would do open mics there, and it's packed. Packed and hell of people getting up doing five. It's like a dream out there. And then we would go to like coffee shops, and everybody had a deal with like the owner of the coffee shop, and they would just put up a mic. People in there packed reading. They put their books down. It's like show. So it was just shows. Almost, <laughs> it, it wasn't even like it was open mic. It, everything was a show. Like it was, it was dope. And then all the comedy clubs had open mics that had crowds. Damn. So it was coming up there. That's, that's why I was able to build so fast because I was always working in front of audiences. Right. Like I didn't when I came out here, I was like, y'all scene sucks. Like I hated the open mic scene here because it was just all comedians. Yeah, the open mic. And if you didn't have comedians. a group that was like willing, you know, most people ain't paying attention. Mm-hmm. They ain't laugh. So it was kind of like, but at home, you could work on your stuff in front of complete strangers Damn. all the time. So that's why when I first got out here, people was like, nigga, are you do you live here or not? Because I was always running to the bay. Cause I was mm-hmm. like, man, I'm trying to get better and I can't get quality shows that I want out here right. like I wasn't getting booked like that so I would just go to the bay all the time right mm. it's excuses though so that's saying it would take about <laughs> five weeks for somebody to get enough stage six time hours of stage Dave time will burn no not five night. weeks for six hours no well if he's saying five the, shows well five six shows a week that's what an hour or fifteen minutes. Oh, to get an hour, oh, so to five get weeks. six hours okay. worth to of circle time all the way day. back to your. Yeah, mm. it takes to a long original. time to build. Yeah, that mm. much time. Niggas be lazy, man. <laughs> that was a hustling <laughs> nigga. <laughs> we was going off of a hustling nigga would take five weeks to get that one night. They think right, Chad, a they non right. hustling nigga. They think Chad lying yeah. in the chair. Right. <laughs> That's how we say. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I got a whole witness. Here's nigga. the thing. Even to Chad's point. To, if you're the hardest working nigga ever, yeah. he's saying it would still take you five weeks to get what Dave can get in a night. Where he burns in a night. Oh, with six, the six It hours? would still take you five weeks. They just be sitting up there, man. Yeah. <laughs> let's, keep it, let's keep it a book. He do. That's what some people <laughs> But he just talking about stage time. Looking, Some yeah. people are looking for jokes just when they're be, on stage. He, but he has the entitled He's talking about with a built 15 minutes. Yeah, going, but they would just be up there. He yeah. does. He does. He. I, I walked out on him several times. Yeah. So his six hours, I'm not looking at as. Yeah, he up there doing six hours of material. Do we know Elijah? Well, he's building. Is this nigga just oh, a shit, troll? He go. going in on him. Who is this nigga? Who? <laughs> Elijah? So, Elijah do we know him? Said, Man, Chaz lied. I don't know. I'm like, do we know <laughs> this nigga? Chaz, but Chaz is heated. He's a comic. I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Do we know this guy? I don't know, but I gotta go. I said play the theme song to rock when Chad <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> What's today? That's hilarious. Oh, uh, That's tonight hilarious. I'll be at the Stress Factory in New Jersey, uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey tonight. Um, Keonpoli.com on everything. Uh, Vegas, I'm coming there at the end of April. Oh, Flappers, April 8th. Come out for that. Um, the under the radar show that I do, the this might do my second one. You guys come out because I'm providing stage time, quality stage time for niggas. <laughs> I know it's hard there you go. to get the fuck up. You know one what I mean? Show I know how hard right it is. <laughs> so it, the four comedians you'll see before me will be people that <laughs> don't be getting stage time like that because five times shit. a week. Because uh, <laughs> they're lazy. And, well, some some are. So well, no, uh, I don't want to say why. No, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So show. come out to that April eighth uh, at Flappers and uh, yeah, Keonpoli.com on everything. All right, job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where you at, Chris? Sneed. Okay, let's see. On the 29th, I'll be at uh, the Funny Bone in Virginia. Ah. Yes. And, Virginia um, Beach? Yes. Virginia Beach Funny Bone. And um, I just want to shout out Natasha that works at Disneyland for being an amazing person. <laughs> and um, Keon, be quiet. And um, I want to shout out yeah, Natasha for being an amazing person. If you're watching this, Natasha... Um, what I said last podcast, I had to say that because my girl thought it was kind of weird for someone to offer me some free tickets to Disneyland, so I had to make it seem like it was nothing. I wasn't interested in you because she had some trust issues with with me. And um, But now that we got that out the way, I just want to say thank you again. My family love Disneyland, and we appreciate you, man. And we don't want to lose you here at Daddy Issues. Please keep watching. <laughs> as yeah, a fan, watching. and we just we just love your support. And I do too as well. So um, shout out to that. But Funny Bone next week, Virginia Beach. Funny Bone, Virginia yeah. Beach, Funny Bone. Yes. Pull up on Chris Sneed, man. Pull up Chris on Sneed. Virginia. Chris Sneed everywhere. It's Chris Sneed. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, everything. Chris mm. Sneed. I'm Craig. just going to be at Craig Wayans. 
yeah. on everything. <laughs> Uh, Elijah I, Green, man, why do you think Chad's lying? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> before, before Chad before we keep goes going. into his schedule, this is a, why do you think he's lying, trolling. Elijah Green? There's, there's no justification. Mm. We, we need, we need your background since you hell bent on he lying. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be like, I used to be with Chaz every day. No, oh, you know, what that's saying. what I'm like. Do we, that's Elijah. what I'm like. Do we know him? Because either they're joking. <laughs> What's your background? Either he's joking. I've heard it. Which is more before. than fine. I remember Jay Green. Green. Jay Green. Who? Do you remember Jay Green? Zay Nova, I, I put out a shot man. of the day on Did you Friday. Uh-huh. Now I remember him. Yeah. Elijah said Chaz mad. Look, this just nigga's just trolling. All right. Yeah. Oh, so he okay. just trolling. He ain't got Get that. Get your ass out of here. Oh, All right, Chaz, go. Hard working niggas out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> black men keeping black men down, man. That's what happens right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I will be so at uh, two two ish Tuesday as at two ish. Me and Dion will be recording Lack on Chaz Live. Will be on Dion's uh, the Lack Toast Entertainment page. You can go there. Uh, I am nowhere this weekend. Uh, is that it? Oh, Shantae show was crazy. It was sold out. Sold she blew that out. shit up. It was more than wonderful. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all. all right. I'm not doing five shows a week this time. Look, now he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You read 3,000 books a Shit year, Chaz. You <laughs> <laughs> can run a 4 3. <laughs> <laughs> they did that. I cannot. I'm going to not be able to run a 5 3. <laughs> um, so, this airs on Thursday. For the now, you know what I'm saying? Tony Bacon Friends returns March 25th at Flappers Comedy Club. So if you're in the L.A. area, pull up on that. Um, also, um, I will be at the Hollywood Improv. I will be at uh, the Laugh Factory March 17th with Chocolate Sundays. Uh, I will be at the Hollywood Improv March 18th. Um, also, if you're in here live and you live in the L.A. area, I will be at the Comedy Store tonight for Stand Up on the Spot with Jeremiah Watkins. Mm -hmm. Um, March 25th, I will be at Flappers Comedy Club. March 26th, I will be at the Comedy Store in Hollywood. Um, Don't forget to check out uh, the Ball Brothers podcast. A new episode is up. New episodes of that drops every Tuesday. Um, There will be no verbal cardio this week because uh, I didn't have any ads. I'm going to just take a week off. A verbal cardio. So Just do it for the money, huh? Sometimes. So there'll be no <laughs> verbal cardio this week, but normally at new episodes drop every Wednesday. Make down. sure you check Chast out the last diversity. episode of Verbal Cardio. Get in on that. Check out the movie reviews and all that good stuff. And uh, we appreciate y'all. Shout out to Chris Snee for filling in for DC. Chris Snee. Yes, you. sir. Dr. Snee. Man. Yes, sir. That's me. Yes, yes, I I uh, shout that out to the Chaz Worth. We appreciate y'all, except for Elijah Green. Yeah, shut the and, fuck up. Uh, We're talking about good Chaz mama's doing. Shut the fuck up about my mom, man. Wait, what? <laughs> He's like, Chaz, glad your mom do. Shut up, man. Too late. I got this watch off of Ruby five hates shows you a now. Week. Five, five shows a week. Five shows a week. Get you this watch. You know what I'm saying? Stop being lazy. Let me get you that watch right there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, y'all, shout out to two Jesse. Uh, but we out.